All right, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> All right. How's it going, everybody? My name is Murphy. Welcome back to the Black Beanie stream. Today, we are just going to be playing some Fallout 4. Uh, this is my feel-good game. This is the game that I play whenever <laughs> I've got some free time, basically. It's easy. I'm really good at it. I know everything about it. So I just I hop in. I play it. I uh, figured I'd use this stream to just kind of sit back, relax, take a break from editing videos, take a break from building Shanghai Tower in Minecraft, and just fiddle around in post-apocalyptic Boston. So let's go ahead and do that. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check the links in the description down below to follow us on all social medias and to join us on Discord, especially, especially, you know, if you're over the age of 13, because that's their policy or whatever. Uh, but to also see if you can become a patron supporter, a Patreon supporter or, you know, a YouTube member. A little, uh, a little uh, chump change every month certainly goes a long way. Either way, let's go ahead and get started. We're just gonna fiddle with this guy's face a little bit. <clears throat> We're not gonna make him ugly. We're gonna make him look distinguished and regal. Get rid of those brown eyes. Oh, thanks. All right, let's uh, let's do tan because he's going to be on the wasteland. So he figured he'd be exposed to some sun. Ears are fine. A nice long face. Keep it center. Let's line up just a bit. Get that jaw nice and square. Get those cheeks nice and concave or convex, whatever it is. Got those cheeks a little higher, a little wide. There we go. I give him a bit of an angry look. Gonna change that hair color or hairstyle. Sorry. Let's go with dapper. Yes, gentleman. Gentlemanly. It's kind of like that. Let's change the color on there to... Uh, let's give him some green eyes. Let's change the type. Let's do... Common in three there. Do creased. He's a former soldier after all. Average dark. Let's just do average. That. I love that face. Lower those brows just a dash. Poke them out just a dash. And let's give him a less than handsome nose. You think my nose is too big? Something with a bump in it. We'll do that. There we go. Alright. There we go. A bit better looking than the normal guy. We'll do. About like that. Let's give him some... Stubble here. There we go. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Go back. Our boy is going to be jacked as hell. We're going to need to be in order to take on the wasteland. 
Here we go. My big boy. He's just a big boy. All right, he's got lip gouges. Let's up those just a dash, shall we? So they're a bit more prominent. There we go. Nice. There's something different. What is it? Well, what the hell all that stuff is? Pocked face, no thanks. Sun scorched, red nose. Your eyes gaunt. There, it's fine. All right. Boom, that's our boy. Hello, Nora. All right, I've got a couple of uh, mods attached to this thing, mainly just so we can uh, get started up. I'm not going to go through all that junk that leads us up to the vault. We're just going to skip right there. I've also got Darker Nights, uh, Better Interiors mod, and a handful of other things. Better interior lighting, that is. It's mainly just, like, a handful of cosmetic stuff and nothing crazy. There we go. I thought the chat was a little quiet. It wasn't showing up. There we go. Let's see who's in here. Luke, good to see you. Johan, good to see you. Yeah, it is a little lonely, but it's mainly just because it's not fall or uh, it's not um Minecraft. Almost forgot the name of the game I play more than any other game. Kyle, good to see you. What else we got in here? Fresh Dave 101. Imagine making a Fallout shelter in Minecraft. That'd be really cool. Everything but honestly nothing. Welcome. <laughs> Fallout Friday on Thursday. Look in the chat and use the word elf. You're playing Fallout like your texture pack on Minecraft. I do have the uh, Fallout texture pack on Minecraft. Man, I'm so glad you guys are actually here because... <laughs> I was worried for a second. I was the chat wasn't showing up on my overlay over there. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep talking a little bit. Nice and lonely. That's how I like it. Alright, I'm noticing some lag on the stream. So what I might do. Mainly when I look at complex lights. There we go. All right, that's my wife. She's dead. They kidnapped my son. You guys know the deal. There has to be a release. My God. There's got to be a release. Ah! Ah! My wife. I was just in the bathroom and now you're dead! I promise. Alright. Well, what will our name be? Let's see, Chuck. Our boy looks like a Chuck. Alright, let me consult my little chart here so I... No which perks to pick here. I've got the uh, Xbox version of the game just kind of sitting by my desk because I'm constantly starting up a new game and I always have to remember where to allocate my points based off which perks I want that's the most important thing uh, even in survival difficulty which by the way I actually need to set this sucker up for survival difficulty uh, uh let's see I would like to be able strong back perk is a must so we gotta yeah, whatever, Chuck. 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 I've already decided that that is my name. Six. Okay, for perception, I just want to be able to get lock picks, so move that up to four. Endurance, let's boost that up to three. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
charisma. Really, all I want to be able to do is get some uh, carry capacity perks. So we'll boost that up to three. Uh, for intelligence, I just need to be able to do the terminals. So that's four. For, a, for luck, eh, there's not really much in the way of luck that I want right out of the gate. Uh, for agility, I want to get action boy. So my action point refresh speed boosts up a little bit. So we'll pump that up to about five. And that leaves two more for luck, which means I can get the bloody mess perk, increasing my damage by 5% every single time. So I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. Very nice. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Why is the chat being stupid? Oh, here we go. Saw the notification on the top of your iPad and was like, Oh, time to stream! Oh, you stop playing Roblox from me? You stop playing Roblox from me? Thank you. That means so much. It really does. Ah, righty, 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 righty. Uh, you guys let me know the second you see lag, dropped audio, drop visuals, anything like that. There are some things I can do to kind of uh, mitigate whatever might happen. Oh, I gotta open the door. I guess that's their way of making sure that you use the terminal. All right, we're gonna be looking for anything Stimpak, Rataway. Not particularly interested in junk just yet. Um, I'm gonna be using exploits to make sure that I can get all that stuff. Amy, welcome! Good to see you. You were watching YouTube already. Yeah. Oh, it still means a lot. Oh, that's right, I need to bump this up to survival difficulty so you guys actually know that I am being cool. The hell? There we go. Okay. It says controller on, but I'm not actually using the controller. Obvious by the mouse cursor here. All right. Survival difficulty adds additional challenges, including no fast travel, saving only when you sleep, increased lethality, sickness, fatigue, and more. See the survival entry in help for details. Yes. So no quick save. So if we crash, we are boned in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Rad Roach, get that. Stimpak, Stimpak, Stimpak. Nuka Cola bottle, Nuka Cola bottle, Stimpak. The board. You can always use cigarettes and cigarette cartons, they are very valuable. So you can sell those to traders. Do -do -do. Radrich meat is food. We're gonna collect these bottles and fill them with water once we get a chance. Namely because there is purified water here in the vault, and we want to take advantage of that while we have the opportunity to do so. Can't see much in the way of anything in here. It's fine. Oh, is that a bottle? Oh my ear. Come to Papa. Roach. Oh, why did I pick that up? Gotta get that meat. Gotta get that roachy meat. Go. God, I'm slow. Alright, so you can drink that to refill your health there. God, it takes forever. And we are gonna fill these bottles up with water. There we go. Alright, some stim packs. This still. What happened here? What happened? Uh, get some eyeglasses so we can increase our perception by one, at least temporarily. See any more bottles in here? Cigarettes, perfect. 
Don't smoke, boys and girls, but do sell cigarettes. They're a valuable commodity in the post-apocalypse. As are weapons. Pre-war money weighs nothing, and you can sell it for a higher amount of money. The currency exchange is really weird between old world money and bottle caps. Yes, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, survival is harder than very hard. It's absolutely ridiculously difficult, but not for, <coughs> excuse me, but not for reasons you may think. Um, just like any game on a hard difficulty, like once you figure out like the meta, you get used to playing in the sandbox and you do your due diligence as far as like taking care of enemies, taking cover, just adapting to the damage. Oh, ah, damn. The damage you take versus the damage you deal. Uh, especially in survival mode because you deal more damage and they and you also take more damage. So it's kind of a tit for tat type deal. Get the pit boy. Why is there a lather on the monitor? What does that mean? I'm <laughs> being boy. No, welcome. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, inventory, let's get... Eyeglasses on, increase that perception. Plenty of rad roach meat, that's food, that's water. We have one bobby pin, let's get rid of that battered clipboard. We're not going to need that for now. 87 bullets, we have two pistols, we can sell one of them. Uh, there's not much in here aside from... Maybe the jumpsuits, I don't know, they're not that valuable though. Turn on the light. Again, let me know if everything gets uh, too choppy, because I can go out and set the preset for the graphics to low or something. Leather, not ladder. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Let me out! Let me out! There we are. Let me out into the wasteland. Where dreams go to die. Enjoy your return to the surface. <clears throat> oh, God, excuse me. Enjoy your return to the surface. I'm trying to keep an eye on just how glitchy this is getting. Or not glitchy, but laggy. It might be getting for you guys. Is that laggy? I do this. <laughs> it's been 84 years. It's actually been closer to uh, 200 and change. Alrighty. I come in here, Molotov cocktail, Rad X, Stimpak, Purified Water, I don't care about bottles, get Nuka-Cola. Ooh, actually I do care about bottles because I can fill them up with Purified Water. Da, 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 da. Molotov cocktail, Rad right away, Rad X, Rad X, dead guy, car. Yeah! Get 
cram. Get that bottle cap. 10 millimeter ashtray. Don't need it. Just trying to quickly get back down to Sanctuary Hills. Looks like it's lagging up a storm for you guys, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Multiple bugs in your house, and you're like, Oh, hell no! Nah. Nope, see you later! Okay, this is what I'm going to do. <coughs> uh, I think it still exit saves. I'm pretty sure it does, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Sanctuary Hill here, build myself a bed, and save, and then just... Um, Lower the settings a dash so you guys don't have to yeet tires to become strong. You guys don't have to deal with the lag. But yeah, I will be using exploits and console commands, so please don't think <laughs> too little of me. Oh no, I can't use console commands! Ah! That's terrible! They disabled console commands! That's yeah, fine. I have plenty of exploits regardless of that. I am just going to put the bed right there, and I'm going to sleep in it. There we go. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And you're going to look at my ugly mug for a second, and I am going to go to the desktop, and we are going to uh, lower the settings just a bit. Just a bit. Um, so it's not quite so uh, so laggy for you guys. Ta 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 Yes. All right, let's try this. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, it just looks a little blurrier. Oh boy. <laughs> this is this is what I've done. All right, hold on. God's sakes. <clears throat> you don't know what to do. Hey, I like my beanie too. My beanie's good. I enjoy it very much. Very, very much. Okay. We are going to open up GeForce Experience Baked Beans! We are going to open up GeForce Experience here, and we are just going to lower this for 1080p. We are just going to lower the graphics just a bit bit uh like enough so that you guys can get a good experience watching it so it's not some glitchy nightmare um jump into a pool filled with beans oh my i think there are baked beans in fallout aren't there right i'm not crazy all right, we're going to go window mode, borderless, 1440p. We are going to go uh, medium quality graphics. We're going to try that. And we'll see what it does. Here we go. We're starting to back up. Please do God. Don't want to get caught with my copyright pants down. That looks a little better, right? It's not quite as jaggedy. Yeah. How'd that be? How's that? Is that... Not quite as glitchy? Yeah? Not quite as laggy? Still noticing a little bit of lag. God bless this... Bless this mess! Actor fade, item fade, object fade, grass fade. Man, I really don't have that many options from in the game. It's, it's fine. It's whatever. Giddy giddy. It's better. Nice. Okay. 
Hello, Codsworth. It's you! It's really you! Life's in a better place. Uh, how important is it to you guys that I go through the dialogue options? Or are we more interested in just accomplishing this game on a hard difficulty? Codsworth is basically in denial about whether or not my son was kidnapped. It's been 200 years, 210 actually, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. Two centuries late for dinner, ha ha ha, are you okay? Speech check. Really hard to wax nuclear fallout out of vinyl wood. Rusty car. Stay with me, pal, focus. Gives you the hollow tape of your dead wife. Asked to go search the neighborhood and just tell him to go search it on his own. Totals, Codsworth. You're gonna get the Grognak the Barbarian. And we are going to get your special and increase. Let's do endurance. Uh, there's all sorts of junk in here. Ooh, um, I just realized I have to use the bathroom. I will be back in like two seconds. Two seconds. Count to two like 30 times and I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> really, I'll be back in just a second. I have returned. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Just had an overwhelming need to pee. The tinkle. Okay, Cosworth is out there searching the neighborhood. Um, there are quite a few things we need to pilfer from the neighborhood as well, so we are just going to go ahead and do that. Will not take as long as you think when you are practiced enough to do it. Normally I'd just open up the console command or the console and tell it to scrap all and it would do it because it's a thirsty little either way. Um It's a submissive little game. I'm gonna get that stuff in there. Get rid of this stuff. Oh, yeah, it's just Cosworth. But we can't do that because it is survival mode, so joy. We're just gonna go down and have we're just gonna have to go through here and collect all the resources manually, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's not too bad. I'm sure there's a mod that re-enables the console when you're uh, in survival mode. At least I hope there is, because uh, I have a tendency to over-encumber myself and <laughs> just teleport myself to a particular cell on the map so I can fast travel without... Um, you know, having the ability to fast travel, if that makes sense.
When do I think Shanghai Tower will be done, roughly? Um, I'm hoping to get it finished by the end of this week. And by that I mean by Sunday. Um, I'm going out of town on Saturday. Uh, tomorrow... What is it? I've got the, uh... The next couple of reaction videos to... Well, edit. So I'm gonna be working on... After this stream is done, I'm just doing this stream for shits and giggles, essentially, but... Uh, once this stream is done, it's back to editing. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit the gym tonight. Get back into the swing of things. Uh, Gym-wise, I've been slacking off a bit too much during this pandemic. And then it's back to editing. We are going to try and get those videos out. Or at least the next video out by tomorrow morning, and then maybe another stream tomorrow afternoon. Saturday I'll be out of town, and Sunday I can probably do um, another stream. Hopefully the last Shanghai Tower stream. I really don't anticipate it taking much longer. Um, if anything, just to get the shape of it down, and then I can work... Because re really all I've got left to do, there's just some finer details at the very, very top of the build. Uh, and it's the base of the build. So like the lobby and all that stuff I gotta build. Uh, so it's nothing too complicated. It's just stuff I gotta do. Nothing was more complicated than getting the regular shape of the tower. And like I, I every time I look at that build, I find imperfection with it. I wish I could change, but I'm just so exhausted with it at this point that... I really just don't want to fiddle with it any more than I already have. And that's not to say I dislike it. Not by a long shot. There are just some elements of it that I think I could iron out. Um, but I need to get over the fact that it's never going to look like the real thing. I can only get it as close as I possibly can. And there is no shame in that. Pink flamingos, or as I called them when I was about two years old, pingos. Favorite animal still bears, though. Alright, let's clear out some more of these trees, get some more wood. Uh, I am not going to be using Sanctuary as my home base. I like to use the Red Rocket gas station just across the bridge. Right over there, you can see it. Get, move this house out of the way. See the little rocket? That is where my home base is going to be. I hear the Rad Roach. I'm avoiding the rad roach. Well, follow me here in just a second. That's a level up. <clears throat> Alright, first things first. When traveling without a companion, carry weight is increased by 50. That rule does not apply to dog meat. So I'll still have someone to kind of soak up some damage from me, and I can still take advantage of the fixed, uh, 50 extra pounds carry weight. God damn it. Hate that. Road to 10,000. God, that's insane. Order a pizza tomorrow and eat it on stream because tomorrow is Friday. Ooh. Aw. I'm glad you think my channel is underrated. Hopefully one day it will be rated. Uh, 
let's get rid of these chairs. Just a few more things in here to get rid of. Okay, get rid of that. Lamp post, lampshade, sorry. Got some good stuff in there. Get rid of that. Any f framed? No, we're good. Oh, thank you. I work really hard on them. I'm glad that uh, you guys are appreciating them like you are. It all started with the Empire State Building. That was it. I posted a time-lapse video and people asked me for a couple of months to uh, make a tutorial, so I made a tutorial and people liked it, so I just kept making more tutorials. So far, Burj Khalifa has been the best one, though. In terms of engagement, it might not be the best quality video, but it's the one that people seem to like the most. Get rid of that, of that, of that, of that. Let's get rid of that, that. Can't get rid of this desk, I have no idea why. Even when you have the mod scrap everything, you can't get rid of this desk. I don't know what it is about that desk. It is a permanent fixture of the map. Watch, if you'd like delete that desk over there, like the whole game just crashes. Because that's how Bethesda makes games. Like, oh, I want to do this thing. Nope, 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 nope. Fresh Dave, I did not say that you said it was underrated. Uh, EasyJ18 said it was underrated. But I like the pizza idea. Namely because I like pizza. I'll get that uh, pizza that I mentioned on in the last video. I think the question was, uh, what's your favorite type of pizza? And right now it is... Chicken, spinach, and feta. And garlic. Ooh. I am jumping to avoid deep water because deep water gives radiation damage, and I'm not about that right now. What else we got? Rubber. I think that's all the garbage that's floating in the river. <laughs> You're fine, Dave. Don't worry. Still fresh in my book. There we go. Need as much wood as we can get. Because literally all I'm going to do is build enough stuff here so that when eventually the Minutemen get here from Conquered, that I can just skip through that quest for some easy experience and the quest where you have to, like, help build up sanctuaries, uh, like defenses and get some crops put down and put some beds around, get some clean water for these ungrateful little bastards. Uh, but we'll do that so we can skip through that quest nice and quickly. And then I'm going to take everything over to Red Rocket. And start my life as a hermit. Living in a gas station. So it's very important to make sure that we delete everything. Okay, here it is, there and there, there's got to be some branches on the ground right here, yep, I don't think there's any over there, nope, these cars, Codsworth is in there, so I'll go in there in just a second, these stumps, all this garbage everywhere, 
Get rid of that. Whatever that is. That, that, that. That, that. Wish you could get rid of that tree. There are mods that let you get rid of it, but... Hello, Kyle. You said your Empire State Building didn't work. How do you mean? Do you mean you tried to build it on your own and it didn't work? Or the tutorial that I made didn't work? Let's get inside that house after we clear that out. Ay vey. This is so much easier with the console. Holy cow. But there's a beauty to everything that I'll show you guys in just a second. It's an, un, an unfixable exploit for this game that is just incredible. It helps everything. What was that? Scissors. Uh, get rid of the safe. Don't even need to worry about unlocking them, because if you break it down, it just transfers the contents to the workbench for you to pick up later. Talk about a good deal. Now we're all set in there. Alright, there's a duffel bag on the roof of this house. I gotta go grab... Okay. There we go. All right, we're almost done. those drugs up off the floor. Stockpile drugs in this game because you can sell them for a hell of a lot of money. Look at that lamp. Look at the radio. Chair. Stool. What else we got? Toolbox. Cap stash. That's just free money laying on the ground. Pineapple on pizza is better than people say it is. Huh. I don't like pineapple, so maybe that's why I don't like pineapple on my pizza. Ugh. I've got nothing against people that do. I just... Pfft, not a fan. I'm going to have to go in there in just a second. Okay. Root cellar, we are just gonna grab everything in here that isn't nailed down and take it out. Uh, the safe over in the corner is an advanced level safe and I do not have advanced level safe cracking ability yet. Just fine. We can always come back and get it. There's some gold bars just lying around. Burnt trade magazine, don't want that. Aluminum cans for sure. Aluminum is your friend. So are sugar bombs. Won't be able to pick this. Yeah. I'm really ticked that I can't use the console. It's like my favorite thing to do. How wide do you make your lanes in Minecraft? Uh enough so that it's always an odd like each lane is always an odd number. A uh, good rule of thumb that I've found is three or five blocks wide, separated by one block, so you can put down a uh, carpet piece to get the color of the paint correct. But I mean, I'll just, I'll continue on wishing that uh, Minecraft had half-size carpet pieces and stuff like that, because... I'm an optimistic idiot who thinks that they actually give a crap about things that would make creative, make lives of creative players easy. 
or at least easier. I am parched from lack of water. And we have adrenaline. Let us drink some water. Five is better than three. Yeah, you're probably right. There it is. There is always a sweet spot. I have learned that when building things in this game. There is always a sweet spot. The game wants you to find. I think this is one of the ones I can never get. Come on. Hey, hey. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Although I just wonder how difficult it would be to make a scrap button that you just press and hold and look at things with and have that stuff, you know, get scrapped. <laughs> Hexagons are better than squares. Where did that, that? That, 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 for the love of Christ. There we go. I don't use the center crosshair in this game uh, because it does some finicky crap whenever you're looking at stuff. Although the hit markers still show up in certain circumstances, so that works. But whenever you can interact with an item, the crosshair does this weird, like, transformation thing, so I just turn it off. Oh no, Sean's crib. Goodbye. Alright, that should be everything in the old childhood home. Did I get the Mr. Handy fuel and everything in here? Yes, I did. I think I got everything in this house too. Yep. So, I think those trees are well and truly taken care of. Let's... Yeah, just a little bit more of the fencing here, a couple more of the trees, and one more house. That tricycle placemat. Don't think I can take the door. Hexagons are the best stagons. Kind of does the same thing in Destiny, but you don't think there's a way to turn that one off. Um, from what I remember about Destiny, I'm not sure the crosshair changes all that much. It probably does. Um, it seems like something Bungie would do. I haven't played Destiny since uh, last year, I think. Either that or like really early this year, like around January. All right, here we go. Oh, some bullets. Thank you, Rad Roach.
Look what I did to this city with a couple of drums of gasoline and a couple of bullets. All these empty milk bottles! Bunch of milk drinkers! Can dog food. Delicious. I'll be sure to give some of that to dog meat. Pick that up. Save the pre-war money because I don't want to lose it. It's very valuable. I think I can get rid of this radiator. Heptagons are better than hexagons. Then octagons are better than heptagons. Oh my. What are you guns talking about? Okay. I don't know how much more junk is just laying in the street. Shouldn't be too much. <laughs> and we got that house, got that house, cleared out that house. Cleared out this house. It should be everything except for a few trees and the remainder of this fencing here, which just doesn't end, for God's sakes. Ugh. Oop, oop, just had it, just had it, just had it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's an invisible tree somewhere. I don't remember where it is. I think it's... this way. But there is an invisible tree. I've never managed to get this right here. I don't know where this special... like, hidey area is in order to break it. But there is an invisible tree somewhere. I know you're here. That's yeah, fine. I don't care enough. Try to say carbon dihyd carbon dihydrox carbon dihydroxide hydrate. Huh. Think you found another game to steal from your dad? Do it! This game is amazing. I've always loved this game. It's not the best Fallout game narratively, but it's my favorite one to play. Namely just because the gameplay is finely tuned. Um, I mean, for what it is. <sighs> Unfortunately, the game has no idea what it is. So, nothing in the narrative backs up this gameplay at all. Like, you can't be a traitor. You can't be, like, a, a gun smuggler. You, you, you don't fill any role or niche in the world of the game. You're just this dude. So, in order to really roleplay in this game, you kind of have to subtract your... Or, uh, extract yourself from the main narrative of the game, which is sun lost, find sun. That's the whole narrative of the game. And you can only kind of engage in these cursory roles within the various organizations of the game. So you've got the Minutemen, you've got the Brotherhood, and you have the Railroad and the Institute. And you can side with all of them. Um, up to a point, and then you have to kind of pick which one you want to go with. Uh, and it's a little frustrating, because you become the leaders of these organizations through virtually no effort. Um, like, the, the Minutemen especially is laughable. Uh, you save them, you get back, he asks if you'll help somebody for him, and then he's like, thanks, leader. And your character is like, what, why are you calling me the leader? And he's just like, because I said you're the leader now. It's like, oh, great, that's good to know, thanks. 
And that's pretty much it as far as like narrative progression is in this game. Someone tells you to do something, you do it, and then the game pretty much completes itself. Press the button, win the game. It's not too much different than Call of Duty, but where this game does excel is the silence and gameplay areas between narrative beats. That is where this game truly excels. Because between story points, you can pretty much just do whatever you want. If you have it in your head that you want to be a... Uh, I don't want to say colonizer, but, you know, like a... Like a <sighs> colonizer in the literal sense of the word. Like, you can set up little... little uh, Like... Oh, what the hell do they call them? Settlements. You can set up settlements all over the map, and you can set them up to farm resources and you can basically hoard a whole bunch of stuff on your person a bunch of valuable things on your person and then just travel around the wasteland selling the goods like i mean it's it's really not a bad you know role to play it's a lot of fun and there are different styles of playthroughs that you can do i remember mentioning on a stream not too long ago that there was a, a kind of a head cannon that I had going, uh, or a head narrative basically, or whatever, where it was like a vengeance playthrough, where you breeze through the game up to a certain point, like you play with conviction, so you make all the decisions and you do everything that you want under the assumption that, you know, once you wake up from being frozen in Vault 111, you wake up and to you, like, seeing your son kidnapped and wife murdered was almost, I shouldn't have scrapped that, was almost instantaneous. So you wake up and you're just like, oh my god, I need to go find my son. So you kind of work under that guise. You don't really stop to smell the roses or anything like that. You... Mr. Chuck. You sprint through up until you find the guy who kidnapped your son, you kill him, and he informs you that your son is in the Institute, and you kind of become a little disillusioned there. And... How hard is the game? Uh, it's not terribly hard. It's not easy. This difficulty certainly, um... makes things a little difficult. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna store my junk in here, but I am... Ammo has weight in this difficulty, so you kind of have to be careful about how much um, you're kind of hanging on to. I normally take all the apparel and aid I can get my hands on. As you can see, I can only carry 185 pounds normally at this point in the game. Uh, with me having, what is it, the, uh, the Lone Wanderer perk right here. Carry weight is increased by 50. I take 15% less damage and carry weight is increased by 50. So that means I really could only carry 135 starting out the game. And I had a strength value of... What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So not great. Normally when you start off the game, if you have that type of strength value, it's like... Uh, you can carry like closer to 300 pounds. Uh, ammo has weight. Um, aid has weight. Like health packs and food and water, that sort of stuff, and normally in the game it doesn't have that. So, no, I don't want to... chairs on a bed. Nice, tasteful, clean bed. Not a dirty bed, a nice clean bed. Because if you sleep on a dirty bed in this difficulty, you can get an infection. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna set up two of these, because there will be a couple people in here later. Set that up right there. We are going to put some food down on the ground. Uh, no, I don't want them back there. I want them cultivating our crops right over here on flatter, more level earth. And just keep a better eye on them. Uh, defense. Can I build a turret? I don't think so. Yeah, I've got no circuitry. That's okay. Guard posts. I'll put up a couple guard towers. I'll put this right here. 
I will put this one right here. And I'll go ahead and put another one right here. Gives a good look over the various areas that enemies might show up. In the future, I might build some turrets, but nah. Okay, so just going to make a few more beds for these people that are going to eventually live here. Um, so let's put one here. Beds do have to be spaced out from one another quite a bit, otherwise they complain and the happiness level of your settlement does not go up. So we will put six beds. It's enough for everyone that's going to be living here plus me. And we are going to put a door right there. That's where everyone will sleep. They'll come out here to drink. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some bottles from here, if I still have any. Do I have Nuka-Cola bottles? Yes. Milk bottles. We'll take the pre-war money, take the preserved cigarette pack. Da, 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 da. I don't think there's anything else in here. No more cigarettes, no more pre-war money. That's fine. Uh, we're going to fill up some bottles. Brain Boy, hello! Let's actually drink some water. Uh, you'll notice in the health bar down there, there's a little bit of red. Um, we are going to try and use water pumps and doctors in order to satisfy our health and radiation needs uh because if you use a rat away in this difficulty you uh, get a suppressed immune system and that kind of sucks so let me just sprint on down this way you'll notice a red bar in the ap meter as well and that is because i have not slept uh not only do you need to sleep you need to sleep soundly so you need to get a uh, few hours of sleep consecutively uh, in order to get the well-rested bonus and to remove the AP refresh penalty. Let me go get the dog here now. He can carry my shit for me while I run around. Eat your doggy! Hey boy. Eat your little boy, your little doggy! Okay, then. Let's stick together. Brain Boy! Uh, you've stopped by before, haven't you? Alright, um... We're gonna get some mole rats popping out of the ground here in just a second. So what I'm gonna do is check the workstation here. Circuitry! Hey, I can build a turret. That's perfect. Uh, but not in here, not yet. Waiting for the mole rats to appear so I can kill them. There we go, cigarettes. Wrench, da da da, tin can. Is there anything in here? No. Bobby pin, that's good. Cap stash, buff out, power relay coil. Ch -ch 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 be some nuka cola there we go cigarettes nuka cola take that empty milk bottle we'll see if i can put some water in that Ooh, there they are oh this is the most inaccurate gun Take the meat. Whatever else they happen to be carrying. Okay. So yeah, this is going to be my base of operations, my boat. We're going to close that. 
I'm going to turn that off because we don't want any of the licensed music in this game interfering with our ability to profit from this YouTube channel. Big ass mole rash. That's absolutely right. There are biggins. I'm going to clear out a bunch of this stuff. Nothing crazy. I'm going to get rid of everything that isn't a workbench. So we really only need three workbenches. I'm not going to use the... Actually, I should keep the chemistry workstation, shouldn't I? Because this is... I should keep the cooking pit and the workstation because cooking stuff on this difficulty suddenly becomes relevant. Uh, this game always had the ability to cook things and to like mix up potions for back of a, or for lack of a better word. Um, almost said back of a letter word, but in the main game they were never relevant. Like the same way that using. Um, different kinds of apparel was completely irrelevant. You could succeed in the game with absolutely no attention paid to what you were wearing, uh, whatever buffs that stuff granted you. But this difficulty makes all of that stuff startlingly relevant again. Which is cool, because this difficulty means it finally feels like a freaking RPG at your plan. And I accidentally deleted the, um... Chemistry workstation. That's fantastic. You're doing great. You're doing great, Murph. You're doing great. This thankfully doesn't have anywhere near the amount of junk that Sanctuary Hills had. We're going to put this right here. Get rid of this floor jack. We are going to get rid of these tires because rubber is valuable. Get rid of that. Get rid of the tires. Get rid of that, and that, and what else we got? Get rid of the cars, which, you know, you'd think there would be more in the cars than just steel. Maybe some rubber, maybe some silver, maybe some aluminum, maybe some oil, but no. The game says no, just metal. Nothing else could possibly have survived that long. Only Salisbury steaks, only a spam knockoff, only soda. Those are the only things from the old world that survived. Not a soul has swept through any of these areas to sweep. Maybe to just pick up some garbage. Cooking station. It's kind of a nasty looking cooking station. Not a big fan. What I'll do is I'll stick this sucker in here. Why can't I set this down? Whatever, I'll just get rid of it. Don't have time to sit here and carry around a cooking station all day. Get rid of the car, get rid of that. Got a bunch of bottles over here. New. I'm just going to pick those up. Thank you. Get rid of that hammer, get rid of that. Get rid of that, 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 that. All these steel chairs, signs, cars, scrap tree garbage. There shouldn't be much more left. Get rid of that. Some scrap tree garbage on the ground. Why can't I get rid of it? There we go. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I've beaten this game on survival before, and it gets to a point where you really don't have to worry about hunger as long as you have enough of a really lightweight um, food source. Something like corn. Like, it really doesn't take much to satisfy hunger in this game. Um... So I'm not sure if you can get... Like, if you just eat raw meat, I'm not sure. That would be something worth exploring, though. I can um, see about that. Put a clean bed right there. And remember, the only way we can save is by sleeping. Um, or exiting out of the game. Because it, it creates an exit save for you. Uh, we are hungry from lack of food, parched from lack of water, so let's go ahead and 
build ourselves some resources. Let's do water. Oh, I can't do that. I've got no concrete. Okay, that's fine. What we will do, uh, and it's kind of tough because um, for the love of God. There we go. Uh, and on this difficulty, if you're over encumbered, you take damage. So not only does it slow you down, it also hurts you. Uh, so if I was to go up there and take what I needed from Sanctuary Hills, uh, that would kind of suck. Hey, Far Side on Earth, welcome back. Good to see you. Okay, let's see what we got. We got 10 millimeter pistol. We got cram. We have. Miscellaneous, that folder is worth at least a little something. Let's see, are there any packs of cigarettes? Yes, are there any reward dollar bills? No, that is A-OK. -okay. What all do I have in my inventory? Empty milk bottle, mole rat hide, mole rat teeth, pack of cigarettes. So let's go ahead and put the mole rat hide, mole rat teeth in there. This and those four bottles there are going to be water for us and just yeah crams like the spam knockoff in this universe. Okay, got a couple of blood bugs right there, so I'm just going to hit them stealthily. You're going to take that Brahmin hide, a couple of those things, because they are valuable. I'm going to run over here. We are going to take the sugar bombs, pork and beans, because beans, Nuka Cola Quantum caps in the oven, and we have. Bobby pins, that's too high of a lock. We got empty bottles, Nuka Cola, and a couple of drugs here. And this is a good save point before we go into Concord and have to deal with all that. Dog, you just fell through the floor, that's fine. Hey. Come here. You are too adorable to go walking around without a costume, young man. I'm giving you welding goggles, red bandana. I wonder if you can wear a bowler hat. Nah. Ah, steampunk doggo, my favorite. All right, let's drink some. Water. We'll eat some mac and cheese. You feel better, but still peckish. Bubble gum. You are properly fed. That's what we like to see. And one water. We have this gun here and a couple of other pistols. I'm uh, not going to worry too much about that. Should be about five raiders in the street over here. One of which has already expired. You did, boy. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I take a couple shots. I'll be in. I don't know who I'm uh, in danger of, but we're going to take some of that. I'm going to come up here. That's an expert lock. Can't grab that. Cap stash. Just going to take the bullets out of that. Going to hide up on our little awning over here. Too far away. We are going to get some armor from those guys. That raider chest piece, raider left leg. Not a lot of armor so far, but you know what? Anything to kind of mitigate some of the damage we'll be taking here in just a second. Right away, duct tape. Duct tape is adhesive. Adhesive is one of the rarest materials in this game, so we'll be sure to stock up on that when we can. Uh, worst enemy in this game is a Stingwing and Rad Scorpions. Uh, there are... Mole rats and rad scorpions are pretty much exactly the same. They're burrowing enemies. Uh, so they'll burrow, and then you just kind of have to wait for them to come back up out of the ground, and they always teleport immediately behind you and pop up. 
And if you get to a vantage point, they just go underground and they wait for you to get back down to where they can get you. It's really, really, really annoying. Um, sting wings are a little bit like blood bugs and bloat flies. Bloat flies are easier to shoot and they do less damage. Uh, blood bugs are slower and there's more of them to shoot, therefore damage. Sting wings are fast and they jab you repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Um, they're nothing like the Cazadors from New Vegas, but how long do I think I'll be streaming? I don't know. I love this game, so I could probably play it for the rest of the night, actually. <laughs> That a boy, dog meat. That's what I like to see. Hey, up here on the balcony, I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. All right, we'll do that. We'll get the leather chest piece there leveled up again. So we will take the locksmith perks. I can get into advanced locks. I really want to start piling into toughness. Life Giver, and Medic. Um, yeah. Before I do that, I want to... Where's that leather chest piece? There we go. This has more damage resistance, one more point, but this has way more energy resistance. I'm going to stick with that. Okay, we are pretty much getting to the point where we need to start unloading some of the stuff that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up everything that is particularly valuable from these bodies. And rather than go in there and immediately start helping Mr. Minuteman, Preston Garvey, we are going to go to the Drumlin Diner, massacre the people that are harassing the lady outside, and sell off all of these goods that we just happen to be carrying on our person. Which is not much, admittedly, but we'll get rid of it. All right, there's also some goodies up there. What I'm going to be doing in order to ensure that I survive a bit better, um, I'm going to be going up there, jumping onto the vertebrate, and getting in the power armor first, and then going down. Uh, I think I have a fusion core. I'm not sure. If not, it's fine. The power armor will still power up. The hell is that? The super mute? What is that? Oh my god, who are you? Oh, that's one of the Atom Cats. The hell is he doing up here? Why am I running into him already? That makes no sense. And a friendly reminder, there is no fast travel in this version of the game. So, yippee. We're going to be hoofing it the whole time. Which is fine because it is very, 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 very immersive. Uh, we're going to run into Carla, the merchant, right here. And we might be able to just get rid of everything we're carrying with her. We'll see if she's carrying a fusion core. I am looking to see what you got, lady. All right. 38 caliber rounds. I never use them, so I always get rid of them. Can get rid of that. We can get rid of that and that and that. Cigarette cartons. No, 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 no. We're not getting rid of duct tape. Uh, we will get rid of those cigarettes. We will get rid of the pre-war money because it is insanely valuable. That we are not going to be hanging on to our old comic books in this game. Could I do a Doom stream? Yeah, which Doom? And we are going to get rid of uh, chems, so drugs, basically. Uh, we are not going to get rid of much in the way of food. Uh, but I think I'm going to hang on mainly to, like, meat. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It's all about how much weight I can kind of carry on. I really want to hang on to stuff like mute, like stuff that you can grow on your on your farms. Um, it gives you less rads. It fills you up more. Uh, so we get rid of the Salisbury stick. It also weighs significantly less. 
Um, Radex, we're going to hang on to. Normally, I just sell those. Psycho, absolutely not. We're going to sell our pork and beans. I know, please don't cry. We're going to sell our Nuka Cola, although it does caffeinate you, uh, which keeps your adrenaline buff, I think, but gets rid of the exhaustion uh, that you might feel in the game. Get rid of Mentats, Medex, we're going to hang on to. Instamash, we're going to get rid of all beer that we find and most junk food. And that should be okay for now. We're going to get rid of all of our superfluous apparel here, including our dead wife's wedding ring, our extra pistols, frag grenades. I uh, normally don't use these on this difficulty, but we have to watch out for when other enemies use them. Um, pipe bolt action. I think I'll hang on to that. Get rid of these. Get rid of the security baton. It's completely useless. Get rid of that. Laser musket. Uh, I think I'll sell that. Get rid of the tire iron. Okay, I don't think there's any other ammo I want to get rid of. We are carrying a decent amount. Shotgun shells obviously being the heaviest, which is fine. 2016 Doom on Ultra Nightmare. That is a hard game. Um... Although, Doom Eternal is no slouch either. In fact, it's probably way harder. Uh, let's take those. Uh, how am I doing on... Yeah. Okay. Important, 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 important are microbials and antibiotics. Though it doesn't look like she has any antibiotics, which kind of sucks. Um, but if she doesn't, what we'll do is we'll just get rid of some of the stuff that we're selling her. In order for us to go get it from someone else. Let's take those shotgun shells. Let's take those 10 millimeter rounds. Uh, I'm just going to take those back. And that's fine. Thank you, Carla. All right, let's go resolve this conflict over here. Actually, hold up. There's a bed right up behind this billboard, so I'm going to go sleep behind that. I'm do that first. There's also some goodies. Take that, take that. Sleep so I can save. Oh, for God's sakes, raiders. Damn. How did they find me? All right, something with a little distance. Don't have much in the way of ammo. Also, enemies don't show up on your radar anymore in this difficulty, which kind of sucks. Get him, dog meat. Come on. The thing. <whistles> that was close. All right, hang on, doggy. All right, Kyle, we'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by, man. Got to be very careful. There you are. Fudge on a duck! Ah! Damn! That is fine. But yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's how this game works on this difficulty. You peek your head out from behind cover, you die. It is fairly uh, unforgiving. It's like, yeah, oof is right. The hell are they? Where are you, buttholes?
Oh, come on. Somebody died. This is like saving Private Ryan on the sniper in the watchtower. Ah! Who is that? Man, that settler is kicking ass. Where are you? Oh! Did not mean to fire. Is that it? Are we good? Jesus H. Snap that one off. <laughs> Where are you, Buttles? Yes, yes, indeed. Alright, that should be it. Yeah, we're good to go. There are two more enemies up over there, which is why I saved. We are going to take some of that. It's gonna take what we can. Leather left leg. That is good apparel. We can get rid of this raider left leg because I hate wearing raider armor. It looks disgusting. Is that road leathers? No, raider leathers. <laughs> what buttholes we on about? The bad kind. Alright. Don't think they are. Here we go. All right, road leathers. That's what I want. Some actual damage resistance. Thank you. I feel bad for, like, the poor settler dude who just got blown up by that car. His body flew, like, all the way over here. Mm. Poor bastard. <laughs> oh, beaut fruit. Delicious. Walking and running are the only way to travel. Uh, fast travel is disabled on this difficulty. Do I have anything that could kill these two? But it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Sure. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Appreciate it. Trudy is a valuable resource. I don't want to get rid of her. Swimming and running and flying, too. Perhaps. Alright, Trudy, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hunker down in here. We're going to try and kill those poor bastards. Oh, boy. Hey there. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. You owe the money. If you just I got a better idea. You uh, all right. Thank you. Jesus Christ! I took one shot. <laughs> oh my god, okay, we're gonna take some medics. We're gonna drink a whole bunch of water, and we're taking two of those right off the bat. All right, Wolfgang is dead. Come on, dog meat, take care of Simone. There we go. Man, I took one shot to the side of the face. It's like I got shot right in the temple. Damn near killed me. Change the green text in the thumbnail. It's too small to be red. Eh, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it now. Thanks for the caps, lady. Now let's give you all of those. Give you that. And I'll give you that. My old vault suit. One of those. One of those. I will keep that. Thank you. Take both of those. Give you the jet. Give you the wild mute fruit. And that is all. Do you, my lady, perhaps have 
any antibiotics? No. But you have herbal anodyne, which resists insomnia and weakness. That's cool. All right, I'll take whatever you got, lady. And we leveled up again. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's buff that damage resistance. We'll go up behind the billboard, save, and then we'll go save Preston Garvey and the Minutemen. <sighs> Another settlement needs our help. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Go up here, save the game, and then save the Minutemen. Joy. All right. What is this thing telling me? Uh, show effects, thirsty and medics. Let's drink some more. I feel better, but still parched. Jesus Christ. You're thirsty. All right, I drank some water. You're thirsty. All right, I drank some water. What should you carry on you at all times? Um, at a certain point in this game, you'll get a gun called Overseer's Guardian, um, which fires two bullets uh, at the same time, but only charges you one bullet. It uses one bullet to shoot twice at the same time, essentially. Uh, which is pretty beneficial. Um, so all you got to do is you need to add that up. Or, um, for the love of God, I can't do two things at once, like talk and think. No, so basically all you got to do is you got to grab that, take it to a workstation, and mod it so it is an automatic. And then you'll be able to have a weapon that's basically got a 30 round clip that actually shoots 60 bullets and deals a shitload of damage and is perfect for clearing rooms and medium engagements. As, as long as you have that, which is good at close and medium range, and then you have like a sniper rifle with a silencer on it, you should be good to go. All right. So I got a sprint and I got to jump onto the plane. If I fall from here, it will kill me. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. And I'll take that duct tape. Please and thank you. All right. So I'm just going to have to walk really slow because I don't have a fusion core, but there's a fusion core in the basement down here. A no healing hard mode run. Good Christ. That is just a bit too sweaty for me. All right, we're going to take that. And grab this duct tape. And that duct tape. Welcome back, Noah. Good to see you. All right. This is going to be ridiculous, but here we go. For the Minutemen. The people for which we're doing this entire playthrough. Oh, God. Joining with the Minutemen is so hard, though. Damn it. Like, it's not hard because... Like, because it's it's hard to, to defeat the other factions or anything like that. Not necessarily. Um, what it is hard to do is the very, very end of the game, after you defeat, you know, the Institute, and basically you're the good guys, yay! You beat the game, the bad guys are destroyed, then the Brotherhood of Steel is like, uh, yeah, we are going to, um, screw you up. You are here for another stream, welcome Sacred Dog, good to see you. As soon as you entered, the quality changed to 144 to 144p. Ooh. Ooh, gross. No, but uh, Preston Garvey, once you get the... Uh, once you get the Institute out of the way, he's like, look, there's only... There's a power vacuum now, and the Brotherhood of Steel is an oppressive force. 
what they're going to do is try and take over and we can't let that happen so uh you blow up their big you know blimp and they aren't happy about that so uh they attack you with literally everything they have like the entire brotherhood of steel vertebrate fleet attacks you with the castle and it is brutally difficult when you're on this difficulty but like any game at any difficulty at a certain point the game plays itself you just get used to it. Okay. Did I find all of the thingies? Yes. Drink? Nothing. 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 Pills? No. Perfect. Hate these things. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do just to ensure that I can actually beat the game is I'll... Like, if I'm on this difficulty specifically, um, what I'll do is uh, side with the Brotherhood just because they have the most firepower. The Institute, for as technologically advanced as they are, actually don't have much in the way of firepower. It kind of sucks. Coursers are nowhere near as, you know, good as the Institute likes to think that they are. Just saying. Come on, bro. So annoying. Nice. Some duct tape in the door over here. Grab that. Get that bottle. Jet Red X. Uh, let's roll shotgun through here. Sweep and clear operation. Take that bag of cement because I need that to build a water pump at my settlement. Take the bottle for obvious reasons. Can fill that up with some purified water fresh from the tap. Just looking for ammo in any of these boxes. Not seeing any. It's fine. Uh, there's some ammo in that person I killed right over there. Banana bread or cinnamon roll? Cinnamon roll, my good man. Take that Molotov. Take those bullets. Take those bullets for sure. Mentats. Uh, suck. Oh, come on. That was such an easy shot. How'd you miss that? Take the food. Go over here and get their ammo. Get that ammo. Okay. Cigarette is practically as good as money in this game. Duct tape. Buff out. I do not want that fuse. You can go die. Bobby pin pre-war money. Pre-war money is worth more than its weight in gold. It's ridiculous, because pre-war money, even on this difficulty, has no weight. Absolutely no carry weight, and it's worth eight caps apiece. One dollar bill, eight caps. Well, then where's the last one, Preston? Christ! Such a needy bastard. So picky. Can't open the door. They're gonna kill us. Yeah. Don't wanna die. 
Just unlock this for the XP. That's it. And I can't go walking around. I don't have much left in this fusion core. Fablic Live! Hello there! Welcome! The Ghoul Museum in Fallout 3 Underworld? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I love Fallout 3. That game is so good. It's ridiculous how good that game is. Take that. Hello, Preston! Yes, I can see you are in a mess. A month ago, there were 20 of them. Yesterday, there were eight. How many of you guys are familiar with this story so I know whether or not I can skip through this stuff? First, it was the bulls oh. of Washington, and now this mess. And now this mess. Sorry. Sounded rough. What's the difference between Fallout 4 and 76? Uh, 76 borrows a lot from the survival mechanics of Fallout 4 survival mode. Um, but... I mean, aside from the obvious, like, 76 is a much larger world. It's uh, not massively multiplayer, but it's got some MMO elements. Like, you can you share the map with a bunch of people. Um, well, then I'll just progress this stuff through here uh, so you guys can pay attention to it. But... <clears throat> Yeah, Fallout 76 takes place in West Virginia. This takes place in Boston. Uh, 76 is a live services game, so it's got, like, events and raids and stuff like that. <laughs> well, thank you, Slushy. But yeah, 76 is a big broken ass mess. Man. You're not what I expect a dog you He's a good dog. Smart too. Please tell me what you are. She has visions. Visions. She can see the future. Blah blah blah. Yes. Kinda dumb. But it is what it is. Uh, yeah, 76 takes place in West Virginia, it takes place only a handful of years after the war instead of 200. Um, yeah, it's focused mainly on the settlement building and survival mechanics as opposed to having a particular narrative or anything. They just released NPCs for it. Uh, Teb Gile asks, what day will you make a tutorial of a Golden Great... Golden Gate Bridge in Minecraft. Um, once I pass uh, 10,000 subscribers, I have the um, plan to do that. So get me 10,000 subs and I will do that for you. Crashes me. The hell, where is this guy? God, I hate that thing. 
What was I talking about? The differences between <laughs> Fallout 4 and 76? Yeah, 76 is always online, uh, has events, it's multiplayer. The hell? Where is that death claw? Come over here and eat this guy! East. You feel the caffeine in your veins. I know you're over there, Deathclaw. I know it. On this difficulty, he could probably eat my bones like very quick. So I'm kind of not trying. You stay there, dog. That boy's gonna put his whole hand up your butt. Yeah, death claw, death claw, death claw. Yeah, buddy, 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 buddy. Yeah, Fallout 76 is sort of pay to win. Like you uh, pay for these um, card packs and shit, and it's just it's kind of scummy the monetization schemes that they got going on there. Apparently, it's gotten a lot better. But the best thing about Fallout 76 is the community. Um, like, you can just become, like, a like a trader in that game. You can just, like, go dungeon crawling, gather a bunch of uh, supplies, build a shop, like, literally build a shop, and then everyone in your server can come up and barter with you and buy, like, gear and stuff. And that can just be your, like, role, your purpose in the game. Oh, boy. This is what I'm gonna do. Terrible throw! Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, 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 buddy. Trying to cripple his legs. Trying to cripple his legs. Stop hiding behind the... <sighs> Oh dear god. He's so big. He's so big. <laughs> yes. You stay up there, boy. You stay up there. You do what I tell you to do. Death claw, death claw, death claw. Death claw, death claw. Oop. Oh! Uh, oh. <laughs> he just came around that corner with a with a purpose, didn't he? Oh my god. He wasn't having any of that. I'm gonna take your meat though. Oh, was that too loud? My bad. I'm just gonna walk around and collect some ammo off these guys. That's a uh, public or civic access down there, or whatever the hell it is. Just trying to get some ammo from the bits and pieces of the bad guys that are left around this uh, suit here. Lets me carry about 235 pounds as opposed to almost 400. On regular difficulties, which is kind of ridiculous. Oh, dogmate! Dogmate, where are you, buddy? There you are. Come on. Let me let me interact with you. Dogmate. Hello, dog. Take that buff out, cap stash, delicious. What is your favorite football team? The Green Bay Packers. My boy Aaron Rodgers slinging it like... Like he's good at it. 
He's good at football. He's good at he's good at playing the ball. Football. American football. I hope that's what you're talking about. That was a pretty amazing display. It wasn't very amazing. I kind of uh, screamed like a little boy. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. All right. <laughs> he swings it like he's good at it, English major. Indeed, I paid thousands of dollars to talk like that. All right, Garvey. I'm in. He would have messed my day up pretty badly. Who is my favorite celebrity? Oh man, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. So I honestly like the fact that this chick here is talking about like seeing the future, why that ruins my sus suspension of uh, disbelief after I just killed a giant lizard. I don't know, but it drives me nuts. I just saw you go toe to toe with a 20 foot tall irradiated lizard. You telling me you can't keep an open mind after that? Yes. <laughs> Skip the talking sections? Yeah. Doodles! There is no fast travel! And I can't use the console. <laughs> Let me look up and see if there's a mod that lets me use the console. Yeah, here we go. Forty five thousand unique downloads. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, it re enables fast travel too. I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose. Because part of, you know, this whole thing is not being able to fast travel. Like, I'm fine with not fast traveling. I can't use a console because that's one of the stipulations for this difficulty. The only thing I want to do is use the console so I can scrap settlements really quickly and... <laughs> teleport <laughs> when I'm over encumbered so I can carry as much as I want and then just automatically travel. Uh, there is also a bug in survival mode where um, also there is an auto walk feature, which is fantastic. Saving hostages in Far Cry 4. Yeah, it's teleporting. It's not fast traveling. You're teleporting. The difference is that no in-game time transpires. So you just show up immediately at the other location and that'll be it wait if i'm an adult in the future will you make a youtube video when you were a grandpa uh. what no but kyle going back to what you were saying about destiny yeah man like i can't tell you how much i wish you could fly your godforsaken spaceship like that seems like such a quintessential element of a galaxy-wide or a solar system-wide, you know, interplanetary sci-fi game. It doesn't make any sense why space battles and, like, 
flying a godforsaken spaceship are not available in that game. And like I, I especially now, like the new consoles are out. You know, like today I got like six updates saying that an Xbox X and S and a PlayStation Five digital and disc version are in stock like they're coming in stock rapidly even graphics cards are starting to roll out a bit more often as long as you're uh joining like raffles and stuff so it, it's the more powerful hardware comes out like why if it's like a hardware limitation or an engine limitation like you've been working on this game since 2014 what is the hold up yeah no it's kind of frustrating it is kind of a frustrating, you know, you know, you know. Alright, I'm gonna take this power armor off. Take my fusion core, which I think weighs four pounds. Fantastic. And we are going to sleep a solid eight hours. Everybody will be here. Flying the ship in VR, man, that'd be so good. Sorry, you're not good. I, hey, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You do not have to worry at any point about your ability to speak the English language. I am just happy you're here. What is my favorite stadium? Lambeau Field. A lot of history in that stadium. Um, but now to answer your question, Teb, will I keep doing YouTube in the future? I think is... Uh, what you're asking and uh yeah sure what the hell i'll do it for as long as i can beer bottle beer bottle removed i am just sitting here filling up a bunch of water bottles empty milk bottle that should be it Yep, there we go. Yeah, one's with rich history. I, I like it. How long have you been streaming? Uh, I started streaming late 2019, uh, but I started YouTube late 2018. So I've been at this for a few years. Um, so gauge my success or lack thereof any way you would like. I am peckish and parched, so let's drink some water and eat that death claw meat. Mm, mm, mm. That's the good stuff right there. Excuse me. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. If I am a 62-year-old, will you make it? Assuming we still have a civilization, or this actually goes anywhere, because at a certain point, like, you know, like things are going to reach a critical mass. And, uh, if I can't make a living on YouTube, then I will obviously have to do something else. But, you know, I feel like I'll always stream because I'm always going to be playing games. Like I, I love games, period. And if you guys want to sit here and play them with me or chill with me while I play them, then that's awesome. Oh man, you've been to Wrigley and Fenway? I haven't been to either of those. How long this stream is? Uh... Jesus, how long have I been streaming, guys? Two hours and four minutes. Minecraft or Roblox? Minecraft, bro. My son. What kind of question is that, bro? They're looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway. I, I love how you just told Preston that the whole reason that you exist at the moment is to find your kidnapped son. And Preston's like, damn. That sucks. Anyways, I need you to do work for me. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hand. Say, damn. Go help out with the settlement. Damn. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman can. Yeah, let me stop searching for my own son and just help you, Preston, random guy I met in a. Museum. It dresses up like it's 1776. 
Da, 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 da. We leveled up. Uh, let's do life giver. Give ourselves 20 extra health points there. At a certain point, I am going to have to take stock of my radiation levels. Uh, where are you, Sturgis? There you are. Hydrate during the cutscene. So, a grandpa making videos on YouTube about cooking. Hey, I think I know who you're talking about. Does he wear like a cowboy hat and he's out there in the middle of like the wilderness and he's using a bunch of like cast iron stuff? Sturgis. I like it. What's my plan B? What we need now is a plan B is a work in progress. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Could always try to get into voice acting. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. All right, we've only got fifty percent of the food that we need. Who all is assigned to the food? Not many. Marcy, I don't want you doing that. I want you on the watchtowers. Professional bricklayer. <laughs> Scared dog. All right, we'll catch you later. You. I need more food. Need more food. I sounded like Luigi in Cars. I don't remember what he sounded like. Hell yeah, I'll take all that. <coughs> These have not yet sprouted. They haven't bloomed, blossom, born fruit yet. So I am going to need to sleep. Dayton! Hey there! Welcome. Give us the best voice acting line you'd use for auditioning. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on... I don't know. Stuff. War. War never changes. War. I don't know, be something like that. Dayton just got back from umpiring a baseball game. Nice. Hippopotamus trosesquipedalophobia. What on earth? I love the smell of napalm in the morning. You know, one of these days this war's gonna end. Smells like victory. You see, to me, that line is a little different. Uh, the first time I heard that line was in a... Uh, shit, dogs. Was in an Otep song. So it's got like a much creepier delivery. All right, we are hidden from the puppy dogs. What I'm doing is I'm sneaking over to Abernathy Farm and I'm going to take his melons and some of his tomatoes, and I'm gonna run back to Sanctuary and plant those so I can finish that mission. Ooh, whiskey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna have a bunch of alcohol in the fire. Yeah, I think that is the... Oh, God. A wounded dog? Oh, I thought that was a bad dog. Oh, well. 
Oops. <laughs> Unfortunately, this game doesn't have a drunk mechanic. You just get addicted to alcohol. It's so lame. It's like a dangerous addiction without any of the fun parts of having a dangerous addiction. So much for sneaking. Yes, indeed. That fricker had two heads. Yep. Get out of here! Go on, get it! Go on now. Hi, sorry. I'm just gonna take your fruit. Sorry. I'm scooting out of the way there. I'm just gonna grab some of your melons here. Nice melons. They're great. See ya. Actually, they have a quest. Get that quest. You there! That's close enough, stranger. That's close enough, stranger. A peaceful farm. Hey! Yeah, you get one melon for picking up three. It's like, what the hell? Oh my god. There's nothing worse than losing. Uh-huh. Right. Gotcha. Uh-huh. I'll get that locket back for you. What was my first job before YouTube? My first job was sweeping hair in a barber shop. 100% under the table, tax free. <laughs> now I showed up after school and on the weekends and I swept hair, cleaned toilets, uh wiped down mirrors and windows, polished steel and chrome and assorted all of the hair care products and stuff and if all of the barbers were there which was about um eight of them and each of them gave me a tip then uh wound up making some pretty good money shut up dog meat they're running Balls. Balls. Oh, for God's sake. These guys are going to mess my day up here any second now. Oh, come on! Get him, dog! What are you doing? Eat the bug! Thank you. Where were you? There is a trunk buried in the dirt somewhere over here. Oh wait, you weird moose. There we are. No, never mind. Oh come on, where is it? Whatever. Trash doggy! Did I ever work at a video game store? Uh, no, but I did apply to GameStop multiple times, but back when I was looking for my first job, GameStop was very popular, and not for the reasons it's popular today. Uh, it was like a hangout spot. Uh, before GameStop was really big, there was a place called, uh, EB Games at the mall, uh, which eventually just turned into another GameStop. And before that, there was a place called Game Freak, which was partnered with Hollywood Video, which was an offshoot of Blockbuster Video. And after school and elementary school, uh... Shut up, Preston. Um, after school and elementary school, every now and again, we would go to, uh, Game Freak and, um... Or Game Crazy. What was it? It was either Game Freak or Game Crazy. It was one of those. Oh, that was crazy places. Uh, but it was a lot like GameStop, except with much better prices. You could get... I remember getting the, um... Enter the Matrix for, like, half off. It was pretty dope. Melons, melons, melons. Melons, melons, melons. Melons, melons, melons. 
Is that enough food? Finally. Sturgis. Was it game crazy? <laughs> Quintuple balls. What is my favorite gaming console in game? Uh, first device I ever used to play games on was a computer. Uh, the first personal console that I owned personally was a Game Boy and then a Game Cube. Um, but the first console I ever played was a Super Nintendo or the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. And I played Super Mario on that thing, Super Mario Brothers on that thing so many goddamn times. Um, that and Duck Hunt. Uh, then was the SNES, which came out when I was very, 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 very little. Um, but I think it was in that period of time where it was like not enough people had bought it yet because consoles were expensive back then. Uh, played the Dreamcast, played the hell out of the PlayStation 1, uh, mainly just sports games like NASCAR and um, Madden and NHL, MLB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think this is it. All right, Dayton, thanks for stopping by. It's always great to see you, man. Feel good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, we appreciate your support. My door is always open to you. Windows. Thank you, Sturge. Just give me that XP. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah, I played the PS1. Well, tell her to play more Vidya games. No, but yeah, I mean, I, I played a lot of that stuff. Um, I had a Pac-Man game and a Frankenstein, like virtual, like visual novel kind of game. Uh, God, I am trying to remember. There was an old game that came out in '97, I think, that was called that was called Carnivores or Carnivores Two. It was one of those. Uh, played the hell out of that. Played a lot of, like, educational video games because my parents eventually realized that there was no way to get me to stop playing games, so they might as well be educational. And thankfully, a lot of those earlier games were very fun. Um, yeah, I was always, like, at daycare or at a friend's house. Like, everybody had, except for me, apparently, because we grew up with, you know, not a lot of money. Um, eventually, like, in, I think, 2001 or 2002... Somewhere around there, uh, we went to a uh, pawn shop and got a GameCube uh, in a couple of games. Lord of the Rings Two Towers was the very first console game that I ever owned. Um, but I had been playing like simulation games like SimCity, Sims, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, stuff like that. Um, just generic, basic game. Like, like think of games like the original Zelda. Uh, the earlier couple of Zeldas that came out on the Game Boy, um, Pokemon, stuff like that. Like, I remember when yellow, uh, blue, and red came out, <laughs> and the only way to get green was to bootleg it. Uh, and there was something called Game Shark, which you could use, uh, the N64 was a huge deal, GoldenEye was so much fun, uh, Star Wars Pod Racer was a lot of fun, um... Yeah. People would call it a golden age of games, and I would wholeheartedly disagree. While those games were a lot of fun, a lot of them do not hold up very well today. PlayStation 2, Xbox era, like GameCube, that's really, really, really where gaming started to get, like, prestige level good, in my opinion. Um, like, I, I would... I would trade, I wouldn't trade a PlayStation 2 for any number of retro games. Like, you give me a PlayStation 2 over any of that old garbage any day of the week. Like, I understand the nostalgia factor behind GoldenEye. Don't get me wrong. Like, the game was revolutionary in its own right. But have you ever tried playing a modern first-person shooter with one analog stick? No thank you. And an inverted analog stick at that, like, press up to look down. Like, it's stupid. Like, you're not playing a flight simulator. What's that garbage that they try to force you to do? Um, 
But yeah, I mean, like old games like Dark Forces and the original Doom and Wolfenstein, or yeah, Wolfenstein, Castlevania. Like a lot of those old games are fun to play. First Metal Gear is pretty fun to play. Uh, but they don't hold up as well as people think they do. You get a bunch of people that don't have nostalgia for that that time, that era of games, and you make them play those games, and they're just like, yeah, I would much rather just watch like a synopsis of this game than actually have to suffer through playing it. Um, games now are so much better. It's like cars. Like, why on earth would you go back and get a car that doesn't have AC or like power steering or ABS, you know? PS1 Hagrid. Man, I forgot that that game came out for the PlayStation 1. That's insane. Easy to forget. sake that a boy dog meat my dog holding for me grab him come on That our boy who's a good boy. Who's a good bloodthirsty boy. You leaving slushy? Okay, bye bye. See you next time. Sleep right quick. Grab a grab a quick wink. Okay. There we go. True, we've been playing for almost two and a half hours. Yeah, like the only reason I'm really streaming today is because, like, I didn't want to. Oh, PS1, 1994, 95, PlayStation 2, 2000, PlayStation 3, 2006, PS4, 2013. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of predictable, like, when console generations are going to kind of ebb and flow, but uh, like I was saying, like, the golden age of video games for me was the Xbox 360 PlayStation 3 generation, which I think was the seventh generation of consoles. That was the golden age for me. Like, microtransactions were in their absolute infancy, so, like, the most you had to do was, like, buy hats on Team Fortress 2. You know what I mean? Like, that was it. It wasn't anything crazy like it is today. Um, like, the worst offender was Call of Duty and their map packs. That was it. Um, but games were consistently pushing boundaries that games had never pushed before. Lighting technologies were just unbelievable. Like, the level of realism and uh graphical fidelity like the jump between like playstation 2 and playstation 3 graphics wise like look at a game from the beginning of the playstation 2 era and then compare it to grand theft auto 5 because grand theft auto 5 it came out the very last year of the playstation 3 and xbox 360 so you went from like just the most dis like you went from PlayStation 2 Hagrid to like Trevor Franklin and the uh, old video games like Magnavox and Atari. Eh. Where people watch a live stream before YouTube? There weren't let's plays and stuff weren't a thing. Like video game okay, oh, all right, no 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 no. 
I gotta give you a little a little history lesson here. <laughs> we are super mutant. Just stand still. No, but um, no little itty bitty itty bitty little history lesson. Um, let's plays and stuff started on YouTube. I mean, before you had very specific sh like forums for sharing things, um, game fact forums stretch back forever. Uh, Yahoo Answers even before that, which they just shut that down, which is sad. That's very sad. Um, a lot of internet history w was lost with that. Um, you can always use the Wayback Machine, I guess. But, um... Yeah, so if you want to know how YouTube gaming and gaming, like, Let's Plays and streaming, that sort of thing kind of came to be, look at Moist Critical, Charlie. Um, he has gaming videos dating all the way back to 2006. Like, that's how he cut his teeth with this platform. He's almost exactly the same age I am, all right? He's been doing, like, I remember me and my buddies would be watching, oh, what's up, guys? It's critical. Like, we would be watching that, that before the face reveal, before anybody knew his name was Charlie, like, watching Gears of War tutorials and, like, like trick shots and stuff like that, watching, like, Halo compilations. He was doing that stuff, like, a decade and a half ago, okay? Like... He, like, as far as I'm concerned, Critical is the OG of YouTube. Like, he's been doing it forever. I am not going to join a party, whoever just asked me. Um, so yeah. But he's been doing it forever. Uh, Let's Plays as we know them today, you can thank PewDiePie for that. Uh, he kind of perfected that format with the little, like, the picture of the person down here and the gameplay up in the background he's the one who kind of i'm pretty sure he's the one who kind of popularized that um you can look at inside gaming uh how they transitioned from inside halo to inside gaming then eventually to funhouse for that sort of thing rooster teeth like their let's play channel a whole bunch of stuff like that like they were really big in influencing uh how video games would kind of explode right before puta pie started in the like early 2010s um because rooster teeth had been doing stuff throughout the late 2000s um and then puta pie kind of took that formula and ran with it uh and as far as streaming is concerned, like there were some decent sized streamers on Twitch and Mixer uh, in the first half of the 2010s. Um, Mixer never quite caught on. Twitch is obviously still huge, Ninja being the big name there. I'm not too well versed in Twitch and the big movers and shakers there. Um, I know there are other platforms. I know that there are streamers who like Dr. Disrespect, who got banned there and now um, streams here. I don't know if that's exclusive. I don't know. I don't know anything about streaming culture other than how to use OBS to stream to you guys. Uh, I've always been steeped in like the deep cut, like not necessarily counterculture, but back in the day it was considered edgy humor. Um, like just video game like ego raptor and oni and those guys which you know you look back on a lot of their humor and it was really problematic but back then it was much more mainstream to be that kind of edgy um yeah those kind of video game material like video game animations like cartoons based on video games uh newgrounds was a big deal for original content based on video games um yeah and things just kind of evolved into what they are today magnavox 1970 atari i pfft, never played one playstation 1994 xbox 2001 uh remember the genesis and the dreamcast uh, i don't remember when they came out but i remember friends having them the first game console i ever had was a gamecube dude like i got onto the console train late very late and it wasn't long after i got a gamecube that i got a um 
PlayStation 2 and Ratchet and Clank, and, well, I pretty much just, uh, devoted all my time to, uh, getting all the other video games. Good boy, dog meat. Who's you good boy killed the bug? Who's you good boy killed the bug? You killed the bug! Who's you good boy killed the bug? How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy, you know any tricks? I guess not. Okay. Atta boy. Doing so good, boy. Doing me proud, boy. Love you, big old doogie. I know. So cute. He's just a little boy. He's just a little boy. Alright, this is gonna sound silly, but there are explosive mole rats around here. There's like a mole rat that comes out. He's got a bomb strapped to him, so I gotta be careful for that, because, uh... Kinda sucks when he blows up. There he is. He's got mines strapped to him. Where are you, bar? Shit. Shit! Where's the bomb? Ah! Be better. I got him. Okay. The other ones I can take care of. Oh my god! How did you get up here? See what I'm saying? Like, they just show up behind you. It's annoying. boy, doggy. Oh no, one of them had like... Mines attached to him. I killed him, but like The one that had mines on him like if he comes near you he will blow up and on this difficulty that's Sucky Toy rocket ship. I don't want none of that. I want no tar rocket ship. I don't want no tar rocket ship All right, let's see how much we can sneak in here. Uh, there is a Pretty annoying enemy in here that has a uh, minigun, and I don't want to get all of my limbs crippled dealing with that. Alright, let's disarm that. Why am I walking like this? And we're going to unlock that storage room over there. Yet. Come on, where are my power ups here? Come on. I need to replenish my tries, please. Damn. Uh, Appear had one, Python had zero, Menial had one. Miss the console. Purified water, that's good. That? 
Don't bark. He's fucking heard you, you dumb dog. Dick. Hey, dog meat. We're gonna try and be very quiet, okay? Ooh. There we go. I like that. Get rid of some of these other options here. Please and thank you. I just want to unlock a door. That's it. Good lord. Not much. What did I choose? Others head to. So how about... Let's try... There we go. You can trust me. I get that mini nuke. Get the soda, because you can't live without soda. Just looking for ammo and health. Pre-war money is perfect. Don't need a mine. Pack of cigarettes, absolutely flawless. Open the safe. Is the Empire State Building my first tutorial? Yes, that was the first one I did. That was the first video of mine to get more than 100 views. It was the first video of mine to get more than 1,000 views. Uh, the time lapse was, and because of that time lapse I did, uh, and every single comment under there was like, hey, can you do a tutorial for this? And I was like, uh, okay. Fuck. You crippled my arm, you damn doggy. Dog meat! Help! There we go. Parched from lack of water. Wonderful. All right, we're going to have to hotkey purified water because it's ridiculous. All right. We're just going to yeet through here. Person with the minigun is right in there. Don't want to get caught up with that. It takes so long for your health to replenish. Do, 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 That's an aluminum can. I don't want the cigar and a teddy bear. Junk out of here. We'll take the army helmet, though. Yeah. The hell is that cigar? Get! Gong, get! And teddy bear. Hell out of here. Fusion core over here that I want. It'd be nice to have. Uh, as well as some cigarettes, circuit board, shit, carrying too much to run. Come here, dog. Oh. Yeah, you can carry all that for me. Uh, why did that? I don't want that. Get out of here. I'll talk cocktail, minigun, no thanks. But I will take all of the ammo for it, and I'll take your stuff. Get your ammo bag, pack cigarettes, perfect. Good to go. Locket is going to be in here. Take the bobby pins, psycho, and that. We'll unlock this. Wait for the rad roaches to come out, and then light them on fire. Oh boy, dog mate. <laughs> Dumbass bug. Army helmet, 
Intel room key, duct tape, purified water. That away. Second tutorial is One World Trade Center. Brooklyn Bridge is the eighth. Uh, maybe. I don't know the specific order. I know that. Um, man, what order did I do them in? I don't even know. Yes. Doggy meat. He's got that doggy meat. That doggy meat. Dog meat, pam 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 Dog meat, pam 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 Willis Tower was right before Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, so it was Brooklyn Bridge, uh, Willis Tower, Burj Khalifa. I want to say Rockefeller Center. 30 Rock, and then Taipei 101, then One World Trade Center, then Empire State, moving backwards. Yeah. So I really haven't done that many, but I've been doing them for like two years now, so hopefully that gives you a sense of how long it takes to make them. That and the fact that I'm not actually like working on them all the time. Um, I do take a little time off some days. From working on those things. Oh, God, warm. That did not retain its chili. Rack stags. Eat them. All right. You guys are going to think I'm crazy for a second, but I promise you I'm not. Drah! Where is it? <sighs> yeah, right. Oh, man. I feel like that was forever ago. That was pretty long ago, though. Think about it. I don't know, a lot of channels will pump out so much content so quick, and I'm just kind of over here taking my time. Like, I've seen channels kind of, like, rise and fall in the amount of time that I take between tutorials, so it's, like, kind of weird, but at the same time, I mean, what do you expect? Uh, da, 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 da. Don't you hurt my doggy! Hey there, Myra. I guess I shouldn't be surprised I start him off. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. I'll pitch it in. There's a little something before you clear. Give me my money. He's a raider. Don't take it personally. Does YouTube give money if you hit 10,000 subscribers? They give you money 
<laughs> you become eligible for um, monetization after you reach a thousand. Um, and after that, it's just different tiers of things that they unlock for you. Uh, you can start getting like sponsors. They have like a database where you can go in and contact sponsors and kind of set up little promotional deals. You know, when you watch a video and you're like, somebody goes like this, this episode of scratching my dick in public is brought to you by hair ties and blah, blah, blah. More from them after the, this and yeah, like there's that. All right, Luke, we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much. Uh, but yeah, that's at 100,000 subs. Uh, at 10,000, you can start, like, selling merch, like, directly through your channel, which is really cool. Yeah. What am I looking to do right now? Okay. Cam resistant, 50% less likely, blah, 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 gun nut sneak. Do I want a damage buff before I do that? I think I'd like a, just a general damage buff. So we'll do Bloody Mess first. Uh, da, 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 talk to the Settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. God almighty. This sucks because you have to like walk everywhere. I'm not a big fan of that. I also, if I... Try to get rid of some of this radiation by using a rat away, then that is going to leave me with a suppressed immune system. So I kind of have to play that a little. So yes, antibiotics, finally, finally, man. <laughs> okay, Luke. Working Citizens Park, Citizens Bank Park. Ashburn Alley. Yeah, boy! I love that stadium. I mean, I can't really do anything about that. Like, the goal is to get enough people in here with Minecraft to eventually have people who are interested enough to stick around for other stuff. You know? Like, if I want to be a streamer, I need to stream some games. And... This is a game I play a lot and am very good at, so... Probiotics. Yeah, no, it's uh, antibiotics. That you get in this game. Antibiotics help when you get uh, an infection. Uh... Although it does kind of suck because they are so hard to find. They are so very hard to find. Right, do I have any meat on me that I can roast up? No. That sucks. That's too bad. Damn. Shut up, dog meat. I love you. You're my boy. I do play Among Us. Um, never really on my own. I don't play a lot of multiplayer games. I used to a while ago. Um, had a big group of people that I used to play with all the time, but... I mean, look, I, I hate to break it to you, but when you get older, you know, people tend to stop playing games with you. Like, that meme where it's like... You know, hey man, I gotta get off, I'll see you tomorrow. Like, seen eight years ago. Um, like, last online eight years ago, that sort of thing. Like, that really does happen. It sucks. Uh, but... It just kind of is what it is. People move on. People literally move on. Oh my god, what is with the raiders of this location? Die! Do you play Roblox? Nope. Nah, I don't, sir. But I, did, I feel bad for a lot of people because, like... I miss... 
the like the physical aspect of like meeting up with people to play games or going to a physical retailer like a brick and mortar shop to meet up play games die Ooh boy cuz like some of the most fun i've ever had gaming wise was during a midnight release for a highly anticipated game um and it, it like once the 2010s hit man that stuff changed so much it was sad like i remember when halo 2 came out and people were waiting outside like down the block when modern warfare 2 came out people were waiting up down the block and it was cool because you would camp out you'd get there hours before midnight and you'd have drinks you'd have food you'd have seats you'd have all sorts of stuff and i mean things just change it sucks but it is what it is There was just a point in time where gaming was as much sitting next to someone as it was, you know, this, what we're doing now. And there are advantages to how we do it now, but there are some disadvantages too. It's a little impersonal, you know, like split screen co-op was one of the best things in the world, dude. It was so cool. It just kind of sucks that that's not really a thing anymore. You can take all my potatoes, all my tomatoes, and my whiskey. And my cigarettes. And my fan. And I want some more ammo, please. I will take those and those and can I afford well hey Jesus I can afford I can suffer through just missing out on one cap. But yeah. Gaming is just different now. You know? I think it's a beautiful thing that so many people can get together like we are right now and granted there's only seven of us me and six viewers currently um and it can connect thousands of people and there is something impersonal about that though like if you got one dude who's got like ten thousand people in the chat like how in the world is oh my god oh my god ah Oh, they, they hurt my dog! God, he glows. Oh, boy. I don't do a lot of damage against that boy. Oh, my God. No. No! Whoa! Did, what? Jesus. Are you just going to raise your arms and start spawning more? I need to help my dog. Okay. Run along now. Doggy, 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 doggy. 
Doggy, 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 doggy. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Doggy, 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 doggy. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> ah! Ugh. Oh, really? I hit that? Come on. That's a smaller target than the freaking thing I'm aiming at. What the hell? Yeah, when they get hurt, they just kind of... They go prone. Oh my god. There you are. Stick your arm out, boy. Stick it out. Check it out, my boy. All right, I've got to get rid of some of this radiation that's on me. I'm going to hate this because this suppresses your immunity and it adds fatigue, but... <sighs> Weary from lack of sleep, I know. We're going to take some Nuka-Cola. And we're going to do... Herbal anodyne and the antimicrobial. And we're just gonna drink a bunch of water. And we are going to see how much that helps us. Because it looks like you can see the red bar is slowly decreasing. Um, whereas we're really just trying to survive here. I really don't want to deal with that damn glowing one anymore. Why did it- why did it spawn that? I am like- I am level- what- what level am I? Seven! Seven! It's given me like an endgame level enemy, or at least a mid-game level enemy. I'm going to shoot that bastard's arm off if it kills me. Come on. Man. There we go. You. Troll la 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 Come on. Alright, he's just out of range. I can't do anything about that. Where are the other enemies? I'm literally just spamming here. We're gonna sneak back, and we're gonna try and avoid. The glowing one. Because that is the reason that we are afraid for our lives. Does that look like he's sprinting back towards us? Because we're hidden. Turning my light off might help, because they can see that. Take the caps off that guy. Yeah, glowing ones are very bad. Um, a lot of the times they can resurrect. They can res downed ghouls. So that kind of sucks. We're gonna try running. And we're good. We're away. 
Oh boy. Oops. Can't sprint and turn on my flashlight at the same time. Got it. Now I can't do anything. What did you do? Stream overlay? There. Steam overlay, I meant to say. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps holding his messages for review. I guess because he's spelling his words, like, meme-ish. Like, he's going, like, it's like, instead of dog meat, he's, uh, or doogie meat, he's going, like, D-0-0-G-I-3. You know? Sometimes it, it thinks that that's, like, bot behavior. Don't ask. I don't know. All right, here is our little home away from home. We are going to sleep. Uh. And we're probably going to catch an illness the second we wake up. You feel well rested? Wow. I am shocked. Shooketh be thy body. Doesn't block that. <laughs> Fresh Dave is over here using every damn letter in the dictionary. Or every damn letter in the alphabet. Every damn word in the dictionary. Why on earth is my AP affected like this? Ravenous. I am hungry. Hungry. I need food. I'm going to eat a melon. Two melons. Three melons. Four melons. Five melons. Six melons. Seven melons. I just ate seven melons. And I could still eat a little bit more. I'm not quite... I am not quite... Satisfied. Oh no, it was a beer. It's a, uh, Devil's Backbone Vienna Lager. It's a Virginia beer. It's pretty good. Your boy just ate seven watermelons. Seven watermelons. And after eating them all, rind and all, just took a bite out of it like it was an apple. Ate the whole damn thing. And my little thing here is like, you're peckish. Eh, you could eat. Let's how about these two fruits. Yeah, there we go. You are properly fed. What a joke. That's insane to me. What? Mr. Abernathy, I got your dead daughter's locket back. I'm gonna steal your melons, though, because apparently I can just put these down. And put these away like groceries. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. What? Connie's gonna be speechless. Is your favorite color? Thanks, bro. Right on, bro. All right. We can get Life Giver Part 2. How about we start buffing our damage? Oh, no. Sneak. 20% harder to sneak. I'll do that. I'll do that for sure. Shall. Let's take some of your tomatoes here. There we go. I got plenty of food to eat. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. 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 Okay. Have you tried eating a burger with honey mustard? I hear it's delicious. I hear it's phenomenal. There it is. I knew it was around here. 
Hello. Ooh. Do we even have anything on my left leg? Oh, I do. It's way better. Yeah. Take that. Thank you. Thank you, random dirt box. I appreciate you. And your help. Cabin over there. Target's not going out of business. There's no way Target's going out of business. Lies. Eh. What is this? How come I haven't heard about this? Hold on, I'm going to Yahoo Finance. All the Target stores set to close in 2021. In 2020, department store Target announced a massive restructure that would see many of its stores close their doors or convert into Kmart. It came after parent company West Farmers deemed the current business model unsustainable in May last year. For some time now, the retail sector has seen significant structural change and disruption, and we expect this trend to continue. West Farmers Managing Director Rob Scott said in a statement at the time, with the exception of Target, West Farmers retail businesses are well positioned to respond to the changes in consumer behavior and competition associated with this disruption. Target stores closing in NSW this year? The hell? What are these places? Uh, I think that's Australia. I want to say. Now maybe it's closing down in Australia. But I don't know if it's closing here. Huh. Oh, I know I'm using ad blocker, you dumb website. <sighs> Hold on. I'm researching this. This is important. This is important. Someone in the YouTube tell Target was going out of business. All right, Luke, we'll catch you later. Yeah, please disable Adblock to support our website. Like, ugh. I'll support Target, but I'm not supporting your dumb website because of Adblocker. Target will close its stores on Thanksgiving Day 2021, it announced Wednesday, more than 10 months ahead of the date. Target was among the major U.S. retailers who made the move for the first time in 2020 to protect customers and staff. God damn it, I don't want to sign up for your stupid newsletter, for fuck's sake. Anyways, Target was among the major U.S. retailers who made the move for the first time in 2020 to protect customers and staff amid surging COVID-19 cases. Target has extended the policy to 2021, it said in a blog post Wednesday. It introduced the policy last year to minimize crowds and make shopping less stressful, it said. And the response was, quote, so positive it had decided to do so again. It also announced a 17% jump in year-on-year -year sales during the festive season. Our Target stores will be closed all day on Thanksgiving Day. In 2020, it made the announcement around four months in advance. Wait, so it's just closing on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't think they're closing. Maybe in wherever the hell. But they ain't closing here. They ain't closing here. That's for dang sure.
Did you just tell a YouTuber to calm down? I don't think that's how it works. Super expressive face, highly saturated thumbnail. Man, I don't know. If I can't go to Target, I'll just go somewhere else. It's kind of how it works, right? I just get irritated when I'm like trying to read something and just pop up, 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 pop up. It's the whole flipping reason I got ad block to begin with. Wally World, God. I don't like Walmart. If I can shop exclusively at Mom and Pops, I try to. But there aren't a lot of corner grocery bodega style, like, places anymore. Not even where I live, and I live in the middle of a city. What am I carrying that is like... Oh, this damn minigun is weighing 27 pounds. Get rid of that. I don't need you. I really don't. Then they talk the settlers of Ten Pines Bluff. Dooby doop doop ba doo. Dooby doop 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 ba doo. Dooby doop 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 ba doo. Dooby doop 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 ba doo. Ba doo 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 a like and w not bad uh it's been a long time since i've seen one or been to one i hear the a and w's in canada are really really good and the ones here in the states are pretty shit but um i wouldn't know i've never been to canada would love to go to canada would love some of that free health care. Can't get sick in the U.S. Can't get the sniffles here without fear of bankrupting yourself. And everybody tells you you should be, like, happy to accept it. You'd be grateful we got health care at all! Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, man, A and W root beer. I so good. The good stuff. Root beer is my absolute favorite soda. Period. I love root beer. But like your average root beer has like forty grams of sugar in it per eight fluid ounces, so I'm just kind of like, eh, maybe not, or per sixteen fluid ounces, I should say. The one near you in Michigan is pretty damn good. Okay, 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 okay. Sleepy Parakeet, would you rather we talk about seeds or grain or feathers or old newspapers used to line the bottom of a birdcage? I don't drink soda all that much either. When I do, it's normally like energy drinks, um, the occasional root beer. I try not to drink or try not to consume too much sugar. Uh, it makes me break out something fierce and I don't like it. The governor of my state uh, wore blackface and got away with it, so that's fantastic. Uh, like, I mean, I understand that like times were different, but like that has never been okay. Like, it's always been racist. So. I just, I don't understand what compels people to do that. <sighs> I mean, for a long time in the early 2010s, there was like this really popular trend for people who like, whose currency was like edgy humor, white dudes to say the N word. And like, people would just laugh at it and be like, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. And it's like, uh -huh, like Louis C.K. did that before the whole, you know, masturbating in front of people without their consent thing. Um, but then like 2016 and, you know, 
the whole Trump wave took over and people really started clamping down on that. They should have been doing it earlier, but, you know. There's been a bit of a reckoning, though. Hey there. What do you want? Hey there. We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? Guy kind of looks like me. <laughs> Do I watch The Walking Dead? No. I stopped watching season four. Long time ago. It was after the governor had finally died after the assault on the prison. And they all kind of went their separate ways before they found Alexandria, I believe. Um, the last full episode I watched was the one where Daryl and the blonde chick. Herschel's daughter that wasn't dating Maggie. So it wasn't, or yeah, or wasn't dating Glenn. So it wasn't Maggie, it was the other one. Don't worry. Um, yeah. It's season four of a show that's like 11 seasons in. <laughs> I think I think we're beyond spoiler warnings here. Uh, but yeah, it was that episode where the two of them like had their own kind of elevator, like bottle episode. And dude, it was so cringy and so boring. And you could tell they were just doing whatever they could to pad out like 10 more episodes in the season. And I just, I was so bored. Like, the formula was apparent even back then, and I just... I couldn't take it anymore, so I stopped watching. Triumph the Insult Comic Dog? I have to sneeze. Ah, uh, beans, I have to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I... Ugh, dude, my seasonal allergies are killing me right now, dude. Ugh. Just sneezing and stuffy nose. <clears throat> no, not COVID. Not COVID. My lungs feel fine. I just... Every spring this happens to me. I get stuffy and sniffly and... You know... It's just seasonal. It's happened my whole life. It was really bad when I was a kid, but it's, uh... Been a lot better. The more exercise I get, the better it is. Uh, so when I'm in good shape, like, it doesn't affect me all that much. Uh, but since this pandemic started and the gym closed down for, like, six months, uh... Wasn't able to go to the gym as much, started developing some bad habits of just sitting around and eating too much and not moving as much as I should, and oh, that's the kind of thing that happens. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, fudge. Fudge brownies. <laughs> Oh, come on. What? I didn't even shoot the tank. Ah, oh, man. I didn't even shoot the tank, man. What the hell, man? That's annoying. Mission failed. We'll get him next time, boys. <laughs> Rip. Mission failed. Oh yeah, dude, this- this game is... Violent. It is very violent. Raining pot brownies. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm just about fallouted out. 
at the moment. At least this um, survival difficulty. Not really. No. It's raining, Tagas. It's raining, man! Hallelujah, it's raining, man! Alright, let's go ahead and exit out of this, out of this game here. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to see me play? I have a handful of games. I need a handful, just a few. Uh, I've got Celeste, City Skylines, Control, Counter-Strike. Uh, Doom, I don't have Doom installed on my computer currently. I'm very sorry. Uh, after I beat them, I just plopped them off. How far did I get in Celeste? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I got all the way through the hotel. GTA 5? I Damn, I just uninstalled that this morning. I'm not even kidding you. I just uninstalled that. I have GTA 4. <laughs> Man, that sucks, dude. Like, I literally just uninstalled that this morning. Uh, you want City Skylines? I got one for City Skylines. I got one for GTA 4. Anybody want to see some Valheim, maybe? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I have a Plague Tale Innocence Lost, uh, or Plague Tale Innocence, whatever it's called, Alan Wake, Among Us, a game called Bean Battles, which is like a bean-themed uh, battle royale, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, we have Bully, Carrion, Celeste, City Skylines, Company of Heroes 2, Control, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive. Sleepy Parakeet is fine with anything. Chirp, chirp, he says. And we all nod. Destiny 2, Minecraft, Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, Katana Zero, Jurassic World, Evolution, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, Halo the Master Chief Collection, Grand Theft Auto 4, New Vegas, but that crashes a lot. Uh, Fallout 3, we have Night in the Woods, Papers, Please, Red Faction, Gorilla, Starbound, Stardew Valley, Subnautica, Tell Me Why, Skyrim, Witcher 1, 2, and 3, Totally Accurate, Battle Simulator, and Valheim. <laughs> chirp, chirp. If you guys heard anything you like, let me know. I gotta go pee real fast. I'm not gonna take a break, I just have to, um... Alrighty. Lemonade. Oh. Alright, so we don't give a crap what I play. Hey, we're doing fine, Mr. Parakeet. Or Miss Parakeet? They Parakeet? Malp. Eyes. It's the only thing that slowly stops the ache. And it's made of all the things I have to take. 
Jesus, it never ends. Force its way inside. If the pain goes on. All right, let's. Uh, what the hell do I even want to play right now? I haven't played Valheim in a bit. I'm kind of in a rut in that game. Uh, basically, all I, like I'm just sailing around trying to find a swamp biome so I can get some iron. Literally it. I've wished for this, I've dreamed for that, I've left behind this little fact, you cannot kill what you did not create. Let's see here. Let's see here. I used to have so many more games. Do I have ADHD? No. No, I do not. Unfortunately, no, it would have been really, really, really cool because it would have given me a bunch of Ritalin when I was a kid. And I feel like that would have helped me do something. I think. You know, I could play some City Skylines or maybe some CSGO, but against bots. I don't want to get sweaty today. Ghost. I screamed it until my veins collapsed. Uh, let's play some City Skylines. Uh, I haven't tried out City Skylines since I upgraded my monitor to 1440p. Um, so... We might experience a bit of... Lag? For lack of a better word? Bean Town version two. I'm really hoping there's no lag. Um, but I really can't say there won't be, so we'll see. All right, this is Bean Town version four, uh, which I was working on. Normally, I just like to start a new game whenever I do this. All right, let's uh, let's pick a good map. Garden Rivers, Eden Valley is normally the best one. Lavender Lake. As long as the game's there, then everything is fine. Oh, let's do Lavender. No, let's do Garden Rivers. <sighs> it shall be called Bean Town. Ooh, I know. Bean Topolis. Start her up. Let's start her up. Not happy with the look of a building? Try the asset manager and modify it. Ooh, do I want to play this or do I want to play Jurassic World? What do we want, guys? What do we want? What do we want? <laughs> Loading tips. I know they're terrible. They're flipping terrible. Hey, that performance ain't bad. That ain't bad. 
There's also this new, like, depth of field thing that they do with this game now. It's kind of weird. Like, you see how blurry it is off in the distance? I don't know if I can turn that off or if I should even bother, but... Oh, anyways, hello. Let's build ourselves a little patch of road there. We can unlock some straight away. Let us get this guy. Curve down to like here. And then we put him there. How about? There we go. And we'll just delete that little nibble. And we'll get ourselves a roundabout. Oh, thank ya. I would like just a regular old kind of off ramp. I'll just do something like that. Stop it. Yeah. Nothing fancy. Not a guy, Paddy. You would say Destiny, but again, that one takes a while to get started on and probably needs to be updated, so probably not. Uh, actually, I just updated Destiny the other day. Because I actually had every intention of playing it, and I just, like, got really tired and didn't actually do it, so it was kind of like, bruh. All right, let's get some purr. Some purr right there. We'll get some pear lines. Man, like that. And we'll have them kind of follow. Kind of like. Got our water down here. Which way is it flowing? It's not flowing. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. So how about we use water towers instead? Yeah, I'm going to do that and that and that and that and that and that and that. Do they have maps that have the geography of IRL cities that you can modify? Sort of. Uh, ugh, I'm already bored. I'm already bored. Damn it. What should I do? I haven't played Destiny in a really long time. I actually kind of would love to play it. Oh, what the hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Can I play my game, Mom? Can I play my game? Is that alright, computer? Can I play my game, computer? Is that alright? Can I play my game? He goes, oof. Alright, here we go. Me. Mm -hmm. 
I have not played in a long time, so my characters are very underpowered right now. Which sucks, because I used to play so much. Ugh. There's a bunch of story missions that I gotta complete. Titan. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Got some stuff. I have no idea what the current light level is now. Got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I notice that sometimes I do that. Um, in season 13, I. My season rank? Oh, I've got the season pass though still, so that's good. Premium Titan rewards. Cool. What'd I get? 210. Okay. 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 Look at that. You just realized you're 15 seconds behind? Why 15 seconds behind? This is cool. All this free gear. Ooh, what are you? Ooh. Drove my auto rifle real fast. Man, I can't even remember what this was this stuff was. Are you talking about lag? Was there lag? Sorry. Here, let me, um... If there's lag, let me... Uh... Can we try borderless window? Does that help at all? Uh... Memory cap. Uh, I can go down to medium. Just for the hell of it. A restart is required to apply some settings. That was my custom. High is a little less. Highest. Custom. Highest. Man, my custom settings were higher than the highest. Why was that? Let's try... Uh... Yeah, no, I've, I've, got, I've done that much, I think. Um... It's going to do high. All right, let's uh, apply those changes. Confirm. Uh, why is this like this? It's supposed to be windowed, borderless windowed. All right, whatever. All right, let's try that. Okay, what do I have? Oops. What do I have to do? Battleground Behemoth. Complete the Battleground Behemoth activity on Nessus. Hunter and the Hunted Osiris found on the moon. Okay. Yeah, Europa's cool. Not bad. I miss all the other planets, though. Titan was one of my favorite planets. I love screwing around and finding that giant worm. That's so cool. Monument to Lost Lights, built in honor of those who sacrificed their light to defend humanity. Created in collaboration with Cryptarch to help guardians manage armaments. Uh, okay. All right, let's go to the tower. Yeah, I love Titan just because it looked cool. No, I love Titan. I loved um, Io. Well, Io was okay. Io, I think, was the weakest of the planets uh, in Vanilla Destiny 2. Um, Nessus is really cool. I love... Um, ah, Failsafe is pretty cool. Uh, Titan. Io. Did they bring back Venus? I wish they'd bring back Venus.
Yeah, this is pretty cool. Is this laggy for you guys? Because if it's laggy, I'll just turn this stuff down to medium. I mean, it's really hard to even notice a difference half the time. Mercury! That's right! That's right! Man, I missed that. Ponyo, I missed that. What you got for me, Postmaster? Really? Alright. I bet I can assimilate that into this. Yoosh, I do not have many upgrade modules. Yoosh. Next out of this now. Can I leave? Thank you. What? What do you... Man, I remember having to do all this stuff to get Sleeper Simulant. Ooh, boy. That was a tough quest. Destiny 2, year 2, Oh, Most of my progress for these is on the Xbox. I uh, have not played much of it on the PC, but... Oh. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. Do I really want to use my only exotic cipher and ascendant shard on that though? And this is beyond light, I've already got that. Okay, 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 okay. What else can I just dump in here? I dump most of this stuff. Where are you? Right. You're going in the party! Bonus damage on airborne shoulder charge. Eh. You in there. This is one of my favorite weapons, period. Leviathan's Breath, I love it. The Lament is a pretty dope uh, weapon. Salvation's Grip, I don't remember if that's very good. I remember anything, man, I swear. Trace Rifle, always perfect. Fusion Rifle, Sidearm, put that in there. Ooh, man, this sniper rifle's dope. This is one of my favorite submachine guns, period. Yeah, I'm fine with what I got. Ethan plays, hey boy! Yeah, Cade's gun. The Ace of Spades! What do you think? Oh, orbs of power going to siphon energy for... Tiku Tisu's divination catalyst by collecting orbs of power, defeating combatants, and defeating guardians. And I need to defeat 50 guardians in the damn crucible. A long time since I've done that. Ooh. I love upgrade modules. And I can buy an ascendant shard, though. Buy one of those. Uh, I got some bounties, post rifle kills, shotgun kills, linear fusion rifle kills. Let's do arc weapons. It's random. Don't really care about that. You do some yurt. Do some work into your turb trainer. Fine. Do what you gotta do, man. This guy's level three. Oh, oh, you little baby. You're just a little baby. Hey, buddy. Wastes. Uh, stuff, stuff, do stuff, stuffy stuff. Uh, my first YouTube video does not exist anymore. It does not. It was a Life is Strange playthrough. And it is gone. Very, very gone. Uh, let's just go back to Europa. This is where I left off. Ooh. I wonder if video has passed 
No. Oh, it's so close, though. How to build Burj Khalifa is at 491,000 views. It's almost at half a million. That's just insane to me. That lagging for you guys? Because if it's laggy laggy, I'm sorry, sorry. Welcome. Was it laggy? Oh. Ah, the warrior. Thermal erosion, biting winds. Coriolis force. Complete lost sectors, public events, and patrols. That's easy. Precision kills. Defeat Praxis. Please. Yeah. Defeat Fallen with arc damage. No problem. Defeat Vex with finishers. No problem. Pulse rifle. Am I rocking a pulse rifle right now? No. Auto rifle. Uh, what do you got? 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 Defeat combatants in Cadmus Ridge. I can do that too. Weasts. Arc and arc and. Oh, geez, that's pathetic. Do you not have the Beyond Light campaign? Because I got. For God's sakes. More Vex. Mar. I need Mar. Dude, in Destiny 1, D1, they had Sparrow races. I'm not even kidding. Ah. Loot. You never played the first game. Oh, first one was good. I remember when the beta came out, dude. Like, oh my god, people were so hyped for Destiny. Those wizards came from the moon. There's my Barney. Okay, there's that. No, 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 no. What is this one? Defeat combatants in Cadmus Ridge. Don't really know what that is. During the Empire Hunt, the Technocrat. Defeat Praxis and earn points by defeating combatants with precision final blows. Higher difficulties grant more efficient progress. Uh, let's do lost sectors, public events, and patrols. What, what do we have? What do we have? There's a technocrat. There are no public events. It's so weird. Oh, there's Cadmus Ridge right there. Okay. Okay. Okay.
This is a weird gun. It shoots two? Interesting. Very interesting. Now, the first game was awesome. I love that game. Uh, like, the first year was kind of bad, but it really picked up. It really did. There was, uh, the second expansion was called The Taken King, and they really let Cade shine. Like, the reason that people love Cade now is because of The Taken King. That was a really good DLC. Easily the best one for this game. Um, for this series. In my opinion, it's the best one. Uh, it had the absolute best raid. Oh man, I love that raid. King's Fall. That was dope. Uh, what day are you going to play City Skyline? Man, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this gun right here. Not the best. Let's switch up a little. Let's get our snipper in there. Got this pulse rifle, but I like this. Uh, I'm going to use a bow. I want to use this one. Better for precision shots. Pretty tight. I used to be so into this game, like, when Destiny 2 first launched, like, dude, I can't even tell you how much of this game I played. Uh, but <laughs> when your best friend and the only guy that you actually play this game with, uh, and as long as his, uh, he was the glue that kept the raid group and all of us together, and when he passed away, it just fell apart. So, I mean, it's been a long time since I've even played a game online with that group of people. That's mainly why. Ah. Oh, what? Talk about a glitch. Laggy bag of crap. Laggy bag of crap. Bag of lag. Oh, man. I used to be so good at sniping. What happened to me? I hear you. Where are you? Man. So rusty. I am a rusty boy. I am just caked in rust. I am a creaky, rusty nobody right now. Ugh. Man. That just hurts. Yeah, it does look like Hoth. Well, dude, like, I used to be good at this game. <laughs> I used to be really good. Um... Was never particularly good at the Crucible, but I did have my maps or my matches, uh, especially earlier on when it was like there were a lot of ways to really just wreck as a uh, as a Titan. Because when Destiny Two first came out, like it was Hunters and Titans. That was it, man. You were a warlock. You were just butt. You scrub out so hard.
At least in my opinion, but that's just because I'm not really good at playing as a warlock. But what? I just gonna disappear. Almost forgot what button to press there. Gimme. What is this poopy? Whoa, twelve eighteen. Oh man. Putting that in my Saint fourteen home. Oh, goody. Oh, I missed that rush. Ooh. Ooh. That feels good. Ooh, should I plug this into my trace rifle? This thing is a beast. I love this thing. I think I'm going to do it to my submachine gun, though. I need something that isn't a, uh, an exotic. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. I know, I love it! Ugh. Have I ever been to Europe? Nah. Unfortunately not. I would love to, though. Europe's pretty dope. Uh, I wanna... This is my favorite combat bow, period. Period. I love this damn thing. Leviathan's Breath, I'm so glad I got it. This thing flipping wrecks. Uh, do need to swap this out for something. Eh, I think I'll just keep it. I need the uh, no, 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 no. Ah. Oops. Come on, make it! What are you? I'll take it. Oh, for the love of Christ, I can't stand that. Shift tab for the steam overlay. Drives me nuts. How many hours are we? We are at almost four hours. What Kyle said. The boom. I need precision kills. Where am I? Where's my fodder? There we go, thank you kindly. Yeah, oh, I love it. Is my uh, is my town still on lockdown? Nah. Nah. Not like that anyways. There's still some uh, space restrictions and stuff, but nothing terrible.
I just need a few more kills here in Canberra's Ridge. Woo! There we go. I got the public event incoming. That'll be fun. The hell? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. A lot of people have died in mine. <laughs> and we just opened everything back up anyways. That's kind of how we roll here. Look, oh, yeah, a lot of people could die. Prove that. Oh, there's a lot of dead people over there. Ugh, unrelated. Um, you gotta go. Yeah, come back in twenty minutes. I'll be here. I'll be here. Don't you worry. Oh, public event. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah. Rally to the flag. I don't remember this thing being so unruly. Oh, I used to use it to hip fire. Why am I frozen? Oh. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Who in their right mind gave you the right? You rat bastard. Ow. Ah! Ah! I am shocked. I am shocked and offended. How dare you spawn me so far away? Kill this bastard. Ugh. Waste of... Ow, oh, balls. Wait, what? The hell? Where'd it go? Where'd you go, boy? Where are you? I could have sworn you were here. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, you're mean looking. I'll kill you, though. Oh, what the balls. Whatever, I'll stay here. I don't care. I'm breaking free! Ah! Damn. Oh, wow, that's a lot of views. Cool. One of these days, I'll get to the million. Oh! God damn. God damn. I was over here trying to live my life. On earth is this guy going to play me like that? Give me that. Ooh, fancy things. Uh... I don't know how to turn this one into a heroic event. But in typical Titan fashion, I'm going to try and punch my way. Oh! oh. Slowly coming back to me. Capture the pad. Oh, 
balls. Ah! No, you regen your health back. Man, that sucks. Oh. Oh, balls. I'm lagging. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's just a lot of stuff going on on the screen. What the hell are these things? I gotta clear these guys out quick. Ba boom. Delicioso. Oh. Oh, baby. Give me that 1219. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that jelly right there. 1222. Oh, delicious, delicious. Level 25! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Let this up on here. I'm running out of infusement cores here. Or upgrade modules, sorry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's unbelievable! Uh, okay. Hmm. Alright, I got some award waiting for me here or not. Seasonal challenges. Feels good to be bad. Week seven. Man, I was not around for seasonal challenges. Username, hello. Uh, we were playing Fallout 4 and now I'm not. So. It's my only arc weapon. So let's go around and kill some bad guys with an arc weapon. Man, this gun is inaccurate. Do I need to be here? Oh, 
I can use arc weapons anywhere. Alright. My precision kills... Precision final blows. Uh, on Europa complete lost sectors, public events, and patrols. Where's the lost sector? I can't even remember. There's one up here. Am I right? Getting that correct? Are you there? Is it this way? You guys know that I'm not going to accept game invites for, like, anything, right? Like, unless it's a thing that I set up. Right? Uh, when you say gaming setup, do you mean, like, my computer? Or do you mean, like, my workstation? Ah, okay, I gotcha. Oh, where'd he go? <sighs> Someone is inviting me to like 800 games. Stop. You're watching the stream. Stop. Inviting me to games. I am not going to join. It is nothing personal. Seven Seraph weapons do I have? Man, I don't even know what that is. Or if I have any. Aryan S. Welcome. We were playing Fallout, now we're just playing this. Fresh day, very sorry, but I am not going to join uh, random people's games. Not followers, anyways. And I promise, it is nothing personal. It's actually specifically meant to not be personal. <laughs> Is to keep a level of separation between me and the internet sphere. And the uh, sole reasoning behind it is that very few things have, very few good things have come from people with a platform interacting in private with individuals that follow their channel. And I'm just. Not going to participate in it. And also sets up a precedent where if I join a private game with you, then everyone else is wondering why I'm not joining private games with them. So again, it's nothing personal. It's just not going to happen. Well, if you have a YouTube channel, just let me check out your YouTube channel and check out that stuff first, and I'll get back to you. 
I'll get back to you. It'll say it in the weapon name so you can tell. What do you sell in Uh, I don't know. Uh, are you a 7 Sarah? Doesn't look like it. Are you a 7 Sarah? I don't know how to tell. I don't know how to tell. Ah, all right, let's check him out. Let's check him out, shall we? All right, we're talking about Rich Dave. Where did my chat go? Why does it always disappear? Rich Dave 101. Rich Dave 101. 35 subscribers, 40 videos, very cool. Dave, how old are you? You don't mind me asking? Okay, yeah, I don't know if I have any 7th Seraph guns. Uh, sorry, bud. I am 28, and I am not too confident about that. It's a sorry no, not a hell no. So, again, like, it's not personal. It's... Nothing. All right. It has absolutely nothing to do with like the quality of your content. It has nothing to do with the quality of your character. It has nothing to do with you as a person. It has everything to do with external circumstances, optics, and stuff like that. It really is nothing personal. And. That's just going to be my final word on it, so I'm sorry. But I do wish you all the luck. All the luck in the world, my friend. Keep uploading content. Keep getting bigger. Do you think? Like, the age difference between you and those teenagers is smaller than the age difference between me and those teenagers. So, like, I'm sorry, but the answer is still no. But if it was something where I was hosting like an event or something and you guys wanted to join, for sure. But as long as it was in like public view and it wasn't just you and me in a private game, because that's just not something I'm going to do. Plus, I'm a reclusive dingleberry. Like, my friends can barely even get a hold of me. Yeah, like the Among Us stream. As long as it's in public and everyone can see what's going on at every given time, it's not private. It has nothing to do with what you are cool with. It has everything to do with what I'm cool with.
is a very important distinction. Oh shush, there's nothing wrong with his YouTube channel. Everyone's YouTube channel is different. We're all just trying to carve out a niche. That's it. We're all in this together. Speaking of everyone being in this together. Go find a YouTuber named Polar and subscribe to his channel. Oh! Alright. Better remember that that was gonna happen. Ow, oh, you beans. You evil beans. How dare you. How dare you all. Sitting here pressing the wrong button. There used to be an upgrade you could get that whenever you did that, it would replenish your health and reload your guns. I miss that deeply. Ah, waste of a shot. All right, that's one. We could have the same one, you never know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, he just deleted. That's fine. He's like, Mrap. I have a city in Minecraft. Uh, I used to. I've shown it off a handful of times on the channel, but I mean, it's old. <sighs> All right, it's about 11:50 here. We've been streaming for about four and a half hours. I really just wanted to. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of channels named Polar. You know the real one, though. You know him. All right, let's exit to desktop here. That was fun, man. I miss Destiny. I've been playing Destiny since. Ah, oh, Jesus. When did it come out? 2014? When did the beta come out? Beta came out like 2014, I think. Yeah. It was that weird period where they were still releasing games for the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. Oh, all right. Yeah, I just wanted to stream today. Uh, just some shenanigans, random games. I, I chose Fallout for the thumbnail because that's the one I was just in the mood to play at the time. Um, I want to do this more often. 
Oh, thank you. Now, I'm glad, I, I really want to do this more often where we just get on, hop on and just like title it something like Black Beanie Stream and then just play whatever game I want to, you know? Oh, my setup, that's right. Um, Yeah, hang on a second. I got to turn off this background removal stuff. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, let me. I don't have a lot of slack on my webcam here. Uh, here, hold on. Uh, all right. Uh, I might be able to move this a little bit, but uh, that's my buddy right there. That's who he was. There's some pictures of us from middle school and uh, later. My soundproofing. Um, Coca Cola sold here. Those are my knickknacks right there. Got a couple of things, some games. That's the uh, TV that I record the tutorials with. Uh, it's one of my guitars. Those are my lights. That is my bathroom. A couple of other guitars over there. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, that is monitor one. Or sorry, that's monitor two. That's the chat. Right there. Very cool. Uh, this is my main monitor. Really cool. It's curvy. Uh, that is my PC. I know it's hard to see. It's got a bunch of reflections and stuff. But yeah, I got the AIO. Uh, 32 gigabytes of um, RAM. At the 2060 Super is easily probably like the least powerful thing in this build except for the power supply which is down in there uh this is the mic this is my headset they all plug into there i used to have my back to this and then that wall to my left um because i used to have a different desk this is my desk now nope um, yeah. And then I just plop the webcam right dead smack in the middle of my main monitor. And fix the uh, angle of it there. Then remove the background. We put on the headphones. And there I am. Down in the bottom corner. See how that works? It's pretty cool. Uh but yeah. Don't tell anybody this, but I'm actually getting a new television in the room here. I'm trying to sell the old one. The old one's pretty good. It's a 47-inch uh, uh, 1080p smart TV with 120 hertz support and Wi-Fi. And the one I'm replacing it with is a 50-inch 4K quantum dot uh, HDR display. It's refurbished. I buy most of the things that I have refurbished, so used but repaired. Um, and it's going to look pretty dope. And I am really hoping to get it soon so I can... Um, well, one, I'll finally have a 4K TV in the room here so I can uh, play, like, you know, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 when I finally get those. Um, yeah.
And then, you know, Minecraft will look pretty good there. I just can't wait to have a console with a solid state drive in it because then I'll be able to load up games real quick. Uh, like loading up Minecraft on an Xbox, like on an Xbox One X, which is what that is. I mean, I know that came out in 2017, so that was kind of a while ago, about four years ago. Um, like even then, like it's still got a hard drive in it. It's slow as hell. Uh, yeah. But yeah, there's that. Yeah, better quality tutorials for sure. Um, what I'm hoping to do, uh, once... So I've got a, a 14... Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Bedrock Edition is so slow on, um, on consoles, on the old generation of consoles. It is, it is slow. Uh, but no, what I hope to do... Um, what I hope to do very soon is uh, record the tutorials in 1440p. So have a higher quality there. And once I get a better graphics card, if the, you know, if they ever come back in stock, like for God's sakes, um, then I'll get, I'm, I'm looking for a 3080. That's what I want. Um, I'm hoping for that like all hell because then I'll be able to play anything at 1440p. I'll be able to stream at 1440p, no problem. Um, won't be a problem there. It'll be easier to render. It'll be easier to play games. I'll be able to do more on the computer at the same time. Uh, get a better processor too. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping for a Ryzen 9. Right now I've got a Ryzen 7 3800X and it's about two years old now. So it's kind of, kind of chugging along. It's not bad by any means. Like I, I do everything that I'm doing right now with it. Um, but yeah, upgrading computers takes a long time. It's expensive. Parts are always in demand. Uh, but I'm hoping to get that new TV in here. And that's just part one of delivering higher quality content to you guys on the absolute strictest budget possible. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. We'll do more of these, like, you know, whatever streams here and there. Um, I can't always just be playing Minecraft. Uh, although soon more Minecraft content, obviously I recorded the, uh, reacting to your Minecraft builds video. Uh, and I am in the middle of editing that. So that will be out hopefully tomorrow. It's not going to be a very complicated video. There weren't as many submissions because I accidentally deleted all the other ones. Um, but we'll, we'll take care of that get that released tomorrow and then it's the try not to laugh challenge after that uh and then more shanghai tower streams and we'll get that taken care of and we'll be done with that and all rejoiced it's gonna be a good time kyle sleepy parakeet duality tab thank you guys so much for sticking into the very end uh, I will see you guys next time keep an eye out for more streams i will post links on twitter on the subreddit and on discord links for all of those are down in the description below uh you must be 13 years or older to join discord just a heads up uh, i know some of you guys are younger than that so just be mindful of that um also follow us on instagram uh, i tend not to post updates on instagram um but i do post like video game memes occasionally and just random stuff that i'm up to that i feel like is relevant to the channel uh, and the more toys and gizmos that we get associated with the channel, uh, the more stuff will be put out there. Um, we are, Jesus, where are we at subscriber wise? Let's check it out. <clears throat> we are at 6.4 thousand subscribers. Uh, we are headed toward every 28 days. We get about 500 more subscribers. So within the next month, we'll be pushing at 7,000, um, which is insane to me. Uh, this is the journey to 10,000. Right now, the closer we get, the better off we'll be. And once that happens, once we pass 10,000, it'll be a big celebration, of course, obviously. But we'll also finally be able to put some merch out here. Um, I've been working on a handful of designs. Uh, I Like, when this stuff comes out, I will try and find the absolute best possible design, like, solutions possible. Um, and... 
then you guys will be able to check that out. I'm, I'm not going to try and gouge everybody for an arm and a leg here. Um, I know hoodies and t-shirts are expensive, but I don't, I'm not trying to make it like that. Uh, merch. Like it's, it's my dream right now to get black beanie gaming branded beanies. Like I want that more than anything in the world. <laughs> uh, so far, all I've managed is to get like a prototype mug and some stickers. <laughs> like the stickers. Uh, but yeah. All right, beans. Thanks so much. Um, it's getting late here. It's about midnight where I am, which means it's probably nine o'clock at night for Kyle. Uh, it's a school night. How dare you? But yeah. I'll catch you guys uh, either tomorrow or the day after. Or no, not the day after. Saturday, I won't be in town. Um, yeah, better than nothing. Absolutely. We'll do some more lax streams here in the future. Oh, you're on break. Look at you. Look at you, boy. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to think if I've got anything else newsworthy that I need to talk about. Yep. Yep, nope, we're good. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I will catch you next time. Toodaloo.